And welcome football fans to a glorious day at Rugby Park here in uh, Hobart, Tasmania. We have a top of 23 degrees today, clear blue skies. We've got the Queenshead Knights versus the Launceston Gorillas. Proudly a, sponsored by Sporties. Proudly sponsored by Sporties. And uh, looks to be a cracking day with both teams hitting their straps at the end of the season. So stay tuned because we're in for a cracker today, I think. Absolutely, mate. It's going to be a great day of football. So we're gearing up to the toss here, mate. A lot of nerves going through a lot of players right now. Oh, we've got Ooh. number 72 there, oh. Josh Cooper. His pants, I think he's gone back to the MC Hammer days. Oh, mate, uh, he pulls it off really well, though. His <laughs> knee pads actually look like shin pads. Because you can't touch him. Exactly. <laughs> You go for a leg tackle there and uh, oh, you're more likely to miss. There's a player to watch there, number 98. Big Bear for the Gorillas. We'll be looking to have a massive day on the defensive line, causing some havoc to the Knights' offensive line. Trying to bust through and uh, get Mr Dawn off. Oh, no, get Mr Healy there. Oh, Mr yes, Healy Mr today. Healy, yeah, for the Knights. My yeah. bad. No, you're right, mate. Oh, there's the big fatties for the Knights there. They're in for a huge, huge day. The big line, yes. boys. I reckon they'll be doing a lot of running today, mate. The a only lot. game where fat blokes do really, really well. Absolutely. We're so proud of our fat blokes, and I happen to be one of them. You and me both. <laughs> what a game that accepts all sorts of people, mate. It's such an inclusive game. It's brilliant. We've got 40 kilo soaking wet wide receivers. Oh. We've got 140 kilo linemen. Yeah. And we all clash together. And at the end of the day, we all have a beer because of the great sport of football. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Geez, I can't wait for this to kick off. Oh, it's I'm excited. It's brilliant, mate. Yeah. It's one of those games where you're not really sure. There's not a clear favourite for mine. It could go anyway, mate. It could. Um, the Knights have uh, been consistent all year, but yeah. the Gorillas have hit their straps towards the end of the season, beating the Devils Yeah. Um, last week in the, in the prelim final. Absolutely, mate. Their passing game at the moment looks as good as I've ever seen it. Phenomenal. Yeah, the dawn off little connection, as I like to call it, there you is go. on fire. Taz Devil. Yep. Another player to look out for the Gorillas is number 38, Suit, he's affectionately known as, or Josh Smith. Okay. He's had, geez, well, I watched him have five interceptions in the one game a couple of weeks ago. Oh, damn. Yeah, and then ran for a couple of touchdowns as well. It, uh, he's hit form at the right time, making a big case for the MVP of the league. That's phenomenal. Yeah. And there you see number 64, the uh, left guard for the Knights, big Tex. He, uh, he holds them back. Yeah, he does, mate. And he's got brilliant control and work at the line. His hands are phenomenal. For me, the, the play to look out for today is uh, Aaron Whale at full back. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more, mate. The Knights always uh, revert back to their uh, play that works. The smash mouth football. Where the, yeah. Wherever he's running full back and not taking the ball or yeah. they, they do the early handoff, oh. he generally makes three to four yards each play. I've just seen him. Blast from the pass on the night sideline there. Number 25. That looks to be Luke Crowley Luke to me. Luke Crowley. Wow. A stalwart of uh, the, the Gridiron League. Absolutely. Was uh, a part of the old league back in the day with the University Wildcats. Yeah. Um, turn him back the clock. He's got more elastoplast on him than... Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You might want to warm up a bit more there, Luke. So. <laughs> Wind back the clock 10 years or, or oh, put some more of, deep heat on, speaking buddy? Speaking of older statesmen of the league, we just saw number 84 there, Pete Wynn. Pete and Wynn. 49 years young, still playing like he's 21 years old. He hits like a Mack truck. Too. It is unbelievable. Hits like a Mack truck. Absolutely. One of the nicest blokes going around as well. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, football fans, we're about five minutes away from the uh, the toss of the game. We'll uh, we'll see you back here in five. And if you're not here, come down to Rugby Park on Risdon Road in Lutana. Um, absolutely glorious day down here. We've got bar, we've got food, and we've got some big boys ready to smash helmets. So. Uh, we'll welcome you back in five with the commentary. We'll we'll keep the live stream going and. Uh, Hope to see you back in uh, five 
keep tagging mates in. Let's get this uh, right across Facebook. Get the word out, guys. Get the word out, and let's make this one of the more popular sports in Tasmania at the moment. Thank you, football fans. Just take the ball and get it back there. Okay? Yeah? Good sound you guys do it. It's a good thing you can run, because if I asked you to breathe, you'd be in trouble. Yeah? It's simple. 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 Now, before I abuse you more in front of all these people, your parents aren't here, are they? Okay. Shit. They get shit. And welcome back, football fans. Uh, absolutely glorious day here. The captains are going to come in for the toss. We've got four captains from each team. Uh, who are we looking at, brother? So we're looking at Angus Bailey, Michael Healy, Josh Lysette and Howie Clark for the Knights. All coming out arm in arm. And then for the Grillers, we've got Marcus Dornoff, the QB, Matt Cameron. Uh, we've got Josh Smith and Nathan Winder. Beautiful. Now, before the toss, I'd just like to give a shout out to our uh, our comrades, the Northwest Raiders, yeah, and uh, my boys, the Devils. Love you, boys, Absolutely. and uh, we both wish that uh, we're all playing here. But love you, boys, nonetheless. Yeah, mate. These here guys comes the toss the of the coin. Here. So on this toss, one will elect to receive the, the ball and one will elect to kick. Which direction? Well, there's not much wind on the day, so 
Yep, uh, looks like the Knights are receiving. Knights are receiving. So we've got the Gorillas kicking to the right of screen. All right, we've got a game, big fella. Yeah. Yeah, the key here. The Knights have a very good onside kick game. And I know I doubt they'll pull it out straight away, but it will come out at some stage during the game. They've used it in most games. Yeah, absolutely. They've got their import kicker back. They, who is an expert at the oh, onside kick. I'm not sure he's from Europe somewhere. Yeah, he's from Germany. Germany yeah. and uh, played in one of the top leagues over there. Absolutely. Can kick a field goal from 50 yards Absolutely. out. Absolutely. He's got a hell of a leg on him. We've got the Gorillas over there pumping themselves up. Yeah, the boys are ready for it. The boys, you got big Brett Weldon there, the oh, coach. What a man. The boy could hold a line back in the day too. <laughs> yes, he could. And can still hold a line today without even playing. Oh, no, he blames me for ending his career, actually. So. <laughs> Let's not go there. No, then. no, no. I was innocent. <laughs> we all are. Yeah. It's only illegal if you get <laughs> caught. Lucky he loves me, mate. Exactly. <laughs> So for all you guys that are tuning in, we are live on YouTube with Duff TV. So we've got uh, we have the link on Gridiron Tasmania Facebook page. Share it with your friends and watch some boys beat some heads and crash some bodies on a yeah. great day of football. Here comes the kickoff from the Gorillas. Caleb's a really good kick. He's been kicking for a while and off he goes. Oh, he's gone for a bit of a short one here. Kick went about 45 yards. Yeah. Oh, we've got some Oh, that was a great run. block. Oh, oh he's, running he's, he's running all the way. He's going. He's going. It's touchdown. Oh. oh. How about that to start a game? El Elia Devine taking it all the way oh back. Oh, my God. That's how you start a Tiger Bowl. So that is six points to the Knights right there on the opening kickoff. What a statement in Tiger Bowl 6. Unbelievable. What I love, though, is the block. Watch back here. 91 with the big He gets block. opened up. Ready? Boom! Oh, I love that. Big jokey and then it. just a little touchdown and away he goes. Nobody's catching those little no. chicken legs. <laughs> the skinny gets the job done. Damn. So the Knights are now... Uh, it looks like they're actually going for two points. Yes, they look to be lining up for two here, mate. They they normally go for the one with they their do. German kicker. They do, but, but Healy's in here, so while Big Whale's out there at fullback, they may look to just bash it over here to try and assert do. their dominance. Well, with an opening drive like that, you want, you want to punish now. Absolutely. And there's the snap. There's the way to Whale. And the and two points oh. are good. Hang on, is that... Oh. No, I don't think he made it. I think that was a good stop from the Gorillas' defence Ooh. there. They're just discussing it. The refs Here's are discussing. The replay. I thought he made it over that line. Joshy Cooper's got him there. Yeah, he falls over yeah, he the falls line. Over. But Let's see where they mark him down. I repeat. Not sure what happened there, football no, fans. No, no, they look to be going for the try again. So there was no flag on the play. No, but they are repeating the two-point conversion again. Okay. So we're not sure what happened there, football fans, sorry. No. We are amateurs as well. <laughs> it is still 6-0, though. 6-0 <laughs> with the conversion to come. Right. So if we look at Healy line, I reckon we might see a pass play here. I he'll, reckon. He'll be looking for his tight end. Number 87, Josh Lysette. Sorry, 89. There you go. No, smash mouth again. No, straight Aaron to Whale. And they stopped, stopped him. Stopped him. Good stop there. Conversion is no By good. the Gorillas defensive captain, Nathan Winder. Oh, the Number captain's 87. pulling it out. Absolutely. Leading by example right there. So, that was a good drive. Um, Aaron Whale created the hole, yeah. as we knew he would. And, uh, yeah, just straight... Oh, into defence. Not, not to criticise, but the halfback didn't read his offensive line there. He's cut out rather than cutting into where they were blocking. Yeah. <laughs> so now it is up to uh, how the Gorillas respond to that opening uh, 
get ready what for the onside kick. What was it? I think it was here. about an 80 yard it run. It was about an 80 yard return there, Matt. That was crazy. Oh, <laughs> what a way to start off Tiger Bowl 6. Now you watch number 23 here, Angus Bailey, one of the Knights cap captains here. He'll be all over this if it's a short kick. Gotcha. So who are we looking for to get to the uh, receiver so really quick? John, Josh Smith in the backfield. Is Angus Bailey, I reckon, yeah, is going to get down yeah. there real quick unless they put a block on him. Yep, they've got to get to him here. So the Gorillas need to uh, need to make a statement here, at least get some yards oh, on the kick. Oh, he's gone with the deep Oh, he's gone the deep. Straight to is Josh. He running, he's got he's it. running yeah, it back. He's, he's a oh. brilliant oh. 99. Oh, he stopped at about the 15 there. Good, good chase there from the Knights. A good idea. In the end, it didn't work out. No, but not quite, mate. No. He... Here oh, it is again. no, so he couldn't even do the touchback. No, no. So he was, had to it run it. Yeah, kick. gotcha. He just got it onto the one. He uh, he was well aware, spatially aware yeah, of uh, where the end zone was then. Sorry. Hey, we can't see only what the camera can see. <laughs> We're in our nice air-conditioned van, And mate. now we've got uh, Pat Merrick. Yeah, the One of the stalwart uh, referees for the game. Now, the Gorillas' offense has been absolutely potent over the last three weeks. In the air, they, uh, they've they been making some yards, so let's see. Go on the handoff. Handoff straight, straight to straight Matt Cameron. Oh, nice run. That's a man after my own heart. A fullback running straight up the middle. That o Oh, line sorry, that separated. was Josh Smith. Yeah, that was another great run. That was yeah. like uh, Moses parting the, the Red Sea the there, Red Sea mate. there. Yeah, absolutely. The O-line did really well to gain four yards there. Now, you look at number 60 there. Believe it or not, he is 14 years old. He he is a monster What's of a man. He gets this block here beautifully. Wraps up number 20. He does. Straight through. Oh. So we're looking at second and about six yards. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got the snap. Another handoff straight, straight up the middle again. Oh, good stop there by 91, Jake Parker. Good stop. They made about one or two yards. Straight on to the fullback. That's a good fullback run, one or two yards, mate. It is. Absolutely. Oh, my God, this boy, number 14, what's his name? Uh, uh, 14 sorry. years old, sorry. Yeah, Jackson Stone. He, I saw a write-up on uh, in The Advocate on him. Oh, yep, yep. This boy is a weightlifter. Yeah, he's a national champion, I believe. He's, he's a national champion at everything, as well as being a champion kid. Absolutely. One of the nicest blokes you ever meet. And then the snap to Mark. The handoff to the run again. That Red Sea is parting. Absolutely, but, but the linebackers are swarming straight to the ball carrier. The running back is, he's not running through. He's, he's running to the contact yeah. and getting, getting driven yeah. back. He needs to drop the shoulder and make that extra two yards. So the, the offense. So we got the first down there. Yeah. He did enough just to make the first down, but I feel he could make another three or four yards Absolutely. if he dropped the shoulder and, and drove those legs. The O-line needs to get to the second level there too, mate. It's they're, the they're yards after that, the hit. Yeah, they're making that first block beautifully, exactly. but they need to get to that second level. The Red Sea is passing in yeah. this offensive line. Now, and we've got an outside, got run an outside. Oh, and they've made a big the stop. Big tackle there. From Joshy set number 89, read the run to the outside beautifully. I think we've got a loss of about two or three yards yeah. there. Good backside blocking there, though, from 56. So we're looking at a, a about a second and 13 or 14 yards here. I reckon the Gorillas need to start airing it out here. They they've, do. They've what changed it, their game plan to try and throw the Knights off, I reckon. And to try it and did to it. start with, but it now did. they're picking it up. Yeah, absolutely. They're we outside need to mix it up. very good. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a uh, play action or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what they look Oh, oh we got a bad snap, snap there. Good run from Suit there. He's made about five yards, but still the Gorillas have it all to do on third down. That snap was uh, off. He just he knew what to do, yeah. grab the ball and just run. Absolutely. Way high, <laughs> off we go. Yeah. So um, we're looking at a third and nine now, guys. So uh, the Gorillas, you'd think you'd have to throw it now. With a third and nine. With Absolutely. Their, with their air game working in yeah. previous. They've done the shock and all with the run, and the O-line's working well, but Easy. nine yards are hard to make on the run. Marcus is going to look for number 13 to get free here, possibly on a crossing route, I reckon. Got you. Yeah. 
There we go. There's the pass. Air it out. And he's, he's out made 13. it. Big first down. Great play Great there. Great catch from Taz Little having to stop on his route and turn and catch the ball. We had a 15-yard pass there for a first down. He, Taz Little was open for days oh, in absolutely. that play. Oh, absolutely. Open for days. Soft coverage from the secondary there. It was. Yeah. And sure with plenty of time to yeah, get the pass off as well. Absolutely. Looks Good like tackle in the end. He held on, but yeah. The middle of the Knights line really needs big penetration here. Oh, good tackle there by Stalwart. Mickey Dodd, number 71. Oh, the boy knows how to tackle. Oh, mate. He just comes in and he shores up that defensive line like nobody's business. He's a D lineman after my own heart. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter what happens, just put the head yeah. down and do what's necessary. Good. So there was about four knights swarming over the, the running back there. It was beautiful tackling. Shout out to a couple of my own offensive line. Uh, Devils boys, uh, Mitchell Brett and Ben Stafford. Those boys hold up the line as well as anybody. Absolutely they do. Well, we got motion. Oh, we got motion from 13. Play action. Oh, oh the Knights. That man again. Exactly. Mickey Dodd. Straight through the line. Read it so well. Play action worked well, but... The left side of the Gorillas O-line's got some work to do here, mate. They do, yeah. they do. Mickey Dodd's a tough character here. Well, they are part in the Red Sea. They put Mickey Dodd in there, and look at this. He's just driving he's, him back, driving him back. He drove off the centre there. He oh. has pushed the centre back into the ball carrier. That is one man mountain there. So we're looking at a third and 11 now. Knights looking to get a stop and getting the punt. They need penetration here. They do. They're doing the eye formation. Okay. I dare say. It'll be a play action, I think. Yep. And they're going to try and look, hit the running back. In Taz the Little again, I'm guessing. Oh, oh good penetration there. From the outside by 89 again. He did well to get rid of the ball and not take the sack there, Marcus. He did. Josh Lysett. Josh Lysett breaking in there. So, there uh, yeah, just from the outside edge. Got yep. you, boys. Little, little stunt move into the inside. Exactly. Just between the guard and the tackle. That was a very nice move. So, we've got the ref having a chat here. Oh, no, they're punting. They're punting, so, yep. Football fans, we've got our throwing balls and we've got our I kicking balls. So uh, whenever the play is a running or passing play, we've got a ball that uh, we don't kick, therefore you've got the grip uh, to be able to catch the ball, run the ball even when it's sweaty. If you kick the ball so much, it gets bubbles and uh, you end up with deflate gate like yeah. uh, the New England Patriots. Oh, that's a lovely punt. That is a very good punt. We're talking uh, a 45 metre punt there. Yeah, but absolutely. the gorillas we make got the return on from number 11 again. Oh, oh again. we got a flag in the oh, backfield. We've got fumble. a fumble. Recovered by the Knights, but we do have a flag in the backfield. Yeah, I oh. think that was for a horse collar in the backfield. Yeah, yep. The Gorillas did well to force the fumble, but the Knights were too quick onto the ball there. So if this is... It was... Uh, there we go. So we've got a... Yeah, we've got a block in the back yeah, from the Knights the here. So they will go back 10 yards from the spot that the, the Knights caught it. And it was number... Oh, I missed him. Oh, he did a great sneaky. fumble there. The big punch on the ball yes. got it free, but too many Knights around the ball at that Beautiful stage. Beautiful technique there. In front here, we've got uh, one of the mothers, Jenny, of the night. She is an outstanding woman, brings drinks, food, and is here every week supporting her son, Marcus Webster. Um, got his number on her hat, and she is just one of the stalwarts of the club that is one of the nicest ladies you'll ever meet. So, Absolutely. Jenny Webster, thank you for your contribution to Gridiron Tasmania. Yeah, shout out to all of great volunteers around Gridiron Tasmania. Without it, we couldn't do it. There is lots of them. We'll do shout outs throughout the day. Um, so, we're looking at... First and 10 on about the 10, I reckon, there, mate. Thereabouts. 30, 20, yeah, about the nine yard line we're yeah. looking at. So it'll be interesting to see if the Knights try and air it out here or stick the game plan. And just Time out to the, the Knights, Knights now. 
So water will be carried onto the field here. I think that's more a tactical one um, yeah. with the heat today. Oh, absolutely. Um, those pads, the helmet, it, it really does get exhausting. Oh, absolutely it does, mate. It's so there'll be some tactical timeouts, yep. but there'll also be some, all right, we're stuffed, we need some water timeouts. Yeah, absolutely, mate. So. Big shout-out to Duff TV today who've uh, who've managed to come down here and, and put this on for you on YouTube so that the rest of the world can see. Um, they're supporting all the local sporting events, so uh, Duff TV, we thank you. Absolutely. Now we're ready for the snap here. That is a big Gorillas defensive line. It is. Straight hoo. run to Tom Neely. Stopped at the line by Nathan Winter again, number 87. Done well. Somebody needs to get a block on him. They do. <laughs> that, that Knights line is, is almost getting pushed back. Yeah. Um, looks like the outside container or the outside zone blocking is not quite there just yet. Not yet. Not yet. Well, the halfback, to be honest, should have run the outside yep. instead of stopping and cutting back in. Yep. But still. But it happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you get scared. Yeah, you we got big whale back in the game. Oh, here we go. And here he goes. Smash mouth football. Oh, yes. Smash mouth football. <laughs> Uh, and now, this is what happens when Whale runs the ball. He bodies. helps everyone up, yeah. and there's bodies strewn everywhere. The, uh, the Joshy nicest Cooper bloke. In his pants. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Joshy Cooper's pants nearly fell down trying to hold Whale back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and not to mention he got pancaked by the centre, number 61, Brett Lunt. The, oh, yeah. Oh. You don't want to be underneath that. Oh, what a beard on the man. Oh. <laughs> that is manliness 101. <laughs> yeah. Got a love offensive line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Whale with running. the fullback. He's, He's out. Oh, oh we need is a block. Outside. Big oh, tackle. the big palm. Oh, great Look. tackle from 38 there to hold on. Oh, he had the palm off. Great job by his gorilla teammates to come in there and support him. But that run, made a full block. Made another five yards off that initial contact. Absolutely. Oh, we've got a flag on the play now. This might be face mask, face. I think. Yeah. I don't think it was. I think his hand slid down the helmet. It did. I, I don't. You, See, there's yeah. no, there's no grasping there's no of the fingers. Yeah. Um, but oh, the, the great it thing. was a great run, nonetheless. Oh, absolutely. Look, the officials discuss it. They so, can pick up the flag if need be. He's hoping, hmm. but they won't. It looks like they're calling face mask. So that'll be a 15-yard penalty and replay of down. I think. I think it might be. So still third down. Third and down with the 15 yards. That hurts. Yes, that's a big penalty. That was a 30-yard run. <coughs> so they've lost so this about takes 45 them back. yards on this that This takes play. them back to the uh, the goal line. Yeah. This yeah that was costly that one. So we're looking at third and 15 there. Now we've got Stephen Ages, the Knights coach, not happy with the call. Oh, sorry, no, not Stephen Ages. No, that would be Derek Hakeshrim, mate. Big shout out to Derek. His parents in America is watching the live stream. Hello, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Derek. <laughs> Welcome to Hobart, Tasmania, where we're not as technical as you guys, but we're a lot more physical. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we haven't got the nous to, to play smart football. Even between our two oh, Tasmanian heads. Wild. Oh, that's still a good run up the middle there. It is. Yeah, so absolutely. they got the first down again. Made up for the uh, for the penalty. So we've got a first down on about the 22-yard line. Excellent run here. That's beautiful tackling from 87 there. You don't go high on a fella that big. He's gone <laughs> straight low on him and done exactly. an excellent job. Did it well. And I reckon we're in for another run here. Straight to Tom Neely for about three yards. Yeah. So even though they dragged him back there, he will get marked for forward progress. So where the tackle was initiated is where they'll mark the ball. That is. So once once he's made that initial stop, yep. the play is over, but the refs don't blow the whistle in case you can rip the ball out for Absolutely. a fumble. Absolutely. But the ball is placed where you made the initial first uh, run to. 
So we've got a first down on about the 25-yard line, is it? Yeah, it looks like it to be, mate. Oh, close to the 30, actually. Oh, no, 22. Another run this time. Yeah, yeah that gorilla line is, is uh, causing some issues there. They are, and they're getting off the ball so quick. That was look number 98 made the play there. He didn't make the tackle, but he took up three offensive linemen from the ninth. But if you have a look, all the gorillas are moving before the Knights' yeah. offensive line are. So they're reading the ball so well. That's what's getting the the drive backwards. It was absolutely brilliant defense. But it's on the Knights' call, so I don't yeah. see how that's happening. Look, the Knights <laughs> really do not always go on one, pretty much. Yes. Uh, so, and I, I reckon the Gorillas have done their homework on that one. <laughs> Mind you, I thought the Gorillas did the same, yeah. and uh, and then they mixed it up on us last they, time. Yeah, yeah. And got me for a couple of offsides. <laughs> it's always the worst when you jump, isn't it? Oh, it is. <laughs> Funny story I'll tell you a bit later yeah. about me on the offensive line, too. <laughs> This I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a fumble on the snap. Oh, Healy's lost it, Jumped but recovered it. it. Got on it. They've lost about nine yards there on the fumble, that though, I reckon. Huge. That's a huge fumble. So the last game of the season, uh, the Devils were playing the Knights. Hayden Fisher gets injured in, in the last quarter. Yep. So they've put me on. Uh, Tim Taylor at quarterback. Oh, Timmy. So they put me at tight end. Yep. Uh, I lined up on the line and then I tried to get my lineman off opposite me to jump so <laughs> I got a uh, a full start but <laughs> and 15 yard penalty on my one and only offensive line play one and done mate exactly <laughs> one and that done <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the Knights here punting from a Big long punt. way back in their own it half is. He's, oh, that's he's got a, a bit of air run. on it too oh, yeah. he's going to let it bounce oh, oh that could be dangerous no, that's there we go. It's down there at the 36. No, 40, 40. 44, sorry, bud. It's hard to see from your top. It here. is. <laughs> we haven't got very good ground markings, guys, so uh, it is what it is. Hey, offense, over to the whiteboard, please. Now, the joys of Duff TV. I have commentated the last three Tiger Bowls. Um, I normally sit outside with a microphone and an amp. Yep. We are hearing everything from the sideline, the coaches' comments, the referees. This is absolutely phenomenal technology for a two-headed Tasmanian like myself. Absolutely. Struggle to get my head around it. Um, <laughs> and I'm a drummer, which makes me oh, very smart Oh, that explains either. everything. Exactly. <laughs> oh, nice little three-yard run there from Josh Smith. I reckon the Gorillas are trying to use the run game to set up their pass game here. They are. They are making little short dents, but if they want to get this lead back... They, they need to pull out the pass game a bit earlier, I think. It's their bread and butter. Exactly. Would you care for a drink, Sire? Sure. Not a problem. We're uh, enjoying a delectable uh, Cascade draft. Just uh, if anyone... From Cascades out there, Matt Dunn, I'd love to uh, throw out and, and maybe get a carton or two. Right, here's the snap. Surely we're in for a pass here, mate. It'd have to be. We're looking at a second and eight. Split backs. Quarterbacks in shotgun. I hand off and I'm all oh, he's through. Big he's first, the first down there for Josh Smith. Jeez, Brilliant the... run straight up the middle behind team captain Jeff Clark. Sorry, team coach. Normally the Knights' defensive line is a lot stronger than this. They're making a lot of yards off the Knights' D line. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Mick Dodd back in there reasonably quickly. Exactly. Being like us, though, a bit old, one of the big fellas, he, he needs his rest on the sideline. Oh, absolutely. Cheer some hard yards on those lines, yes, whether it be D or O. No. It is physical down here in the It middle. is. But speaking of volunteers, there's today's chain gang. Awesome that they can get around and support the boys. Big shout out to the boys. So everything down here is volunteer guys. Apart from the refs who we pay very little to, for the job that they do. Um, absolutely everything is volunteer. All the hours that are put in to getting sponsors, to to getting Duff TV here takes people's time. So we want to just put a shout out to all the volunteers at Tasmanian Gridiron. 
um, Devils, Raiders, Knights and Gorillas. We appreciate all your work, guys, and thank you for tuning in today and listening. And we look forward to your continued support of Tasmanian Gridiron in the future. We've got uh, a couple of shout-outs to sponsors. Uh, Taz Kino, thank you. Queen's Head, who are the sponsors of the Knights. That's awesome. Bulk Nutrients, couldn't go anywhere without the boys at uh, Bulk Nutrients. Absolutely. They work with me and the, the fight team at uh, Tasmanian Fighting Championship as well, so thank you. Sporties, the best sports bar in Launceston. Uh, Knight Frank, uh, real estate, thank you. JMC Motor Company, awesome. Yeah, Mood Foods, um, hey, Great Bay Marie there mate, if you ever need a that's where late we'll night heading, tucker. That's where we'll be heading on the way home to Devonport, mate. <laughs> and Bennett's Petroleum, thank you guys. We couldn't get this league up and running without every single one of you. And the biggest shout out of all is to Duff TV, streaming live on Fa uh, YouTube, sorry. No, I got, got it wrong the first time, <laughs> so I better not get it wrong anymore. So we got the start of the second quarter here. Just snapped a mark straight to the fullback MC, Matt Cameron, with a got good stopped two on the yard line. run. Yep. I'll, call, I'll give him two yards. Mate. Okay. Oh. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, they've given him one. So, oh, hey, look. We'll, we'll call that even, it's eh? It's hard on fullbacks, mate. Trust it me. It is. <laughs> hey, I'm an outside linebacker, so he got no yards for me. <laughs> for you, he got ten. Absolutely. <laughs> Gotta love seeing a big man running. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I reckon they're going to go straight to the ground here again, mate. One would think so. Yeah. We're looking at a third and 11. Second oh, and 11, sorry. Big jump from the Knights there. There was. Try to read it real quick. Yep. Just trying to get that advantage on the offensive line that they've not got yet. Yeah, right? no. So we'll wait for the call. <coughs> Excuse me. Today's white cap, Sean Sutton. Yes. We love all our refs. Yeah. There's a couple of raiders out there. Shout out to Jared and Blair. There we go. Oh, look at the gut on Blair. Oh, oh, what a beauty. He makes that shirt <laughs> look good. Absolutely. Oh, yep, so it is offside on the defence. So that's a five-yard penalty against the Knights. Waiting for the rest call. Second down. Second down, yep. And they've marched them forward about they five. Have. So we're looking at a third and five here, guys. With the run up the and guts. That, so that run up the stomach yeah, is really working well. Really working beautifully. And that's the first down there. Got another first. They're moving in the score. Well, they're in scoring range they here. Are. Yeah. We've hit the red zone. Can they put the score on the board? That is the question. They know to here at the start of the second start quarter. Start of the second with the way the Knights came out and uh, and blew them away pretty much on the opening drive. Absolutely. Um, we need some points right here. Well, if the Gorillas keep rolling like this, you're going to find a very tired Knights defence come the third very. and fourth quarter, uh, late third quarter. And, and we're only fourth. running with uh, three linemen on the Knights team. Yeah. Third. A big secondary because they're trying to read it, and they did that one. They did, still got a few yards there. Good leg pushing there from Josh Smith to maybe, get something out of nothing there. Maybe one, yeah. one or two yards, but uh, yeah, the, the Knights read that beautifully, and their secondary came in and yes. collapsed, which is the key. Number 91, the linebacker came in and killed it at the line. When you're only running three defensive linemen, you need that secondary to be coming in and Absolutely, making the stops on the run. Mate. Absolutely. Many holes there that you need to plug up, yeah. so you need everyone to play their game. Yeah, it wouldn't shock me to see the night shift to a four-man line in the second half. Or five even yeah, sometimes. Yeah. They like that bull rush. Uh, that's a Raiders tactic there, the <laughs> five-man line. <laughs> Get those big boys in there. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, oh we've got a whistle here. We've got a timeout for the Knights. Knights. That's sorry, timeout Gorillas. Gorillas. So they're going to talk about what they're going to do here whilst <laughs> having a drink. It's bloody warm out it there, mate. Is. They it's, deserve a drink. It's <laughs> warm out there, and I'm getting the sweats up in this van. Oh. Now, this technology has blown me right away, guys. I'm sitting here with a headset on and a microphone in a van, 
but I can still hear the cars driving past and the birds chirping outside. So it's blown my two heads out, out of the water and mine blown. Oh, thank you for opening that door. We just got <laughs> a fresh welcome. breeze through here. <laughs> oh, my God. So, guys, I think we're at about uh, 22, 23 degrees here today. We've got clear blue skies. Um, both guys are getting water because it's bloody hot here. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the B word, but sorry if I'm not. Um, oh, I just said it before. <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm not the first and I won't be the last. <laughs> right, we're about to resume play here. Gorillas on the march, looking to score. We've got a... Jesus, I can't even see the down marker. Fourth, fourth and one. And oh, they've got it back, straight up. Straight through. Big tackle oh, in the second area. He still made about 11 yards and put them in a very dangerous position. We're, uh, we're about 10 yards out, 11 yards out. Whisker away what from the score. What a run there. from Matt oh, Cameron. Winding he, back the clock there. He hit the line at pace. And number 20 just broke the line. He, he wanted to get in there and hit that QB. Number 56 there. Brody, uh, 96, I think. Brody Christensen, the left tackle, made a yeah. huge block there to pop Matt Cameron. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Stopped him before the line. Oh, and another run. run. Oh. oh, stop. Number 20's come back big there. 56 got uh, pushed back hard right there. For the gorillas. Number 56, Lachlan, Lachlan Wood. Wood. Damn, buddy, you need to plant those feet because he just, yeah, there you yeah. go. No, that's who all is, right. Who number is that? 20. Number 20. Andrew Croup. Andrew right, Croup, Andrew. great play. A uh, ex-devil. Oh. I didn't even realise he was playing on the night. So, uh, damn. <laughs> Yellow and black to blue and white real quick. <laughs> I reckon, oh, yeah, he comes a run up the guts again. They stop him at the line again. Mickey Dodd in the game again, making an impact yeah. straight on the line. <laughs> so we're looking at a third down now and... Uh, I can't even see. About, about eight yards, I yeah, think. Yeah, this will be four down territory for the gorillas. Today. Sitting in the van, it's a little bit hard with windows. Yeah. yeah. So the boys just trying to work out tactics. Uh, they really need to get points on the board here. Yeah. Just to, uh, just to settle down the game and, uh, and let the Knights know that they're still in it. And for the viewers at home too, there is a play clock. They need to get the play off before a certain amount of time runs out or it will be a penalty against them. So you'll hear the referee say, hurry up, quarterback, which means you've got about five seconds to get the ball off. Here's the quick pass. Here's 30 the pass. seconds oh, wide, open. wide open. Touchdown, Gorillas. Great oh. play there. Who was that? Number 37. And that's six points to the Gorillas. Bo Tuddle, the captain. Oh, my God. We've got a six on the board. The Gorillas have evened up the game they're nicely. They're making it a game. Now, they don't have a kicker, but it'll be easier to go for the one point. Yeah. I, I'd definitely I think be going for the two, two here, mate. Yeah. And that route was run perfectly. Absolutely. Half a yard inside the touchdown line. And... Str Not that I'm pass. an expert on these skinny players, but the cut there from number 37 oh. to the outside was a thing of beauty. It, hey, we've got turning circles like Mack Trucks <laughs> yeah. compared to Twinkle Toes over there. Absolutely. Some of the Raiders uh, wide receivers need to take note of that one. Yeah. Steve Artiga, shout out to you, buddy. <laughs> Gotta love the big shout outs. <laughs> Oh, oh, and the throw. Oh, incomplete there on the two-point conversion. So he, it remains at six all. He actually could have run it in there, I think. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, perceived I, pressure because these Knights' defense, are, they're quick to get on the, on the QB. Marcus is definitely a pass-first QB, too. Oh, so yes. I don't reckon he'll be running anywhere, mate. He, I've seen him leave a couple of lumps in the decks when I've chased him sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Good coverage by the linebacker there, number 51, Harry Clark. It was. So we're uh, part the way through the second quarter at uh, Tiger Bowl 6, guys. The Knights v Gorillas. We've got uh, the Knights 6 and Gorillas 6. 
And this is looking to be a cracker of a game. The uh, the Gorillas O-line and D-line. Uh, O-line are parting the river like the River Jordan. And the D are just penetrating. Whereas the Knights, they seem to pull out the right plays at the right time. And that smash mouth football is working really well for Absolutely, them. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. So we've got the Gorillas kicking off here. Caleb Barrick out to make the kick off. Knights to return. Can they get another touchdown like the first play of the oh, game? This will this will be ridiculous if they do. Oh, absolutely. You'd think uh, Brett Weldon would have drilled these boys. If that <laughs> yeah. happens again, you are stuffed. Straight to number oh, 11, who's fumble. fumbled it and recovered. Oh, quick. Oh, he's still up. going there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, it was almost about to happen there again. Oh, chicken little legs. He's, <laughs> he's just amazing at any stretch of the imagination. He's very spry. Oh. <laughs> very spry. He's the people that we hate because two metres and he's gone from there. Oh, mate. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't put up a chase to people like that. Well, you make it look like you've made an effort at least. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to let the coaches know anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that could have been dangerous there, the fumble on the replay. Oh, yeah. If the Gorillas had it got up quick enough, they would have affected it. The centre making the tackle there too. Good to see. Number 52, Jeff Clark, the director. So we are sitting on about the 28-yard line. The Knights are in Big whale at full back. Straight to the running back, Tom Neely, number 30 there. They've got to stop at the line, pretty much. Great stop on the line there. Number three, the cornerback, Chad Honey. Exactly. So that'll be second and ten, pretty much, again. Yep. Second and ten. Now, just a shout-out to, uh, as I'm sure you would want to, all the partners of, oh, absolutely. Uh, of the players. They... They put us in Radox bars for the next couple of days yeah. and listen to us whinging like little bitches. Oh, I'm sore. I can't move. I want a cuddle. Being in my situation at the moment, my wife is doing a lot for me. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> oh, here's Big Whale straight up the middle. Look at that push there from the O-line. Beautiful. That was good. Uh, so for all of you that don't know, Mr. <laughs> Barron has a, uh, a cast on his foot. <laughs> Oh, it's a moon boot. A they call moon it. <laughs> boot. Got you. So, uh, yeah, his his partner. Shout out to you wherever you are, my dear. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, much respect, but for everyone else who does three or four days worth of radox and cuddles and Absolutely. kisses, going, it's okay, baby. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So we've got a third down and about six yards here with the Knights. Um, I'm guessing it'll be either a run handoff to Whale yeah. or he run the full back hole. So we are going split formation. We're yet to see them even shape up the pass. Oh, we're oh. going eye formation. Yep, yeah, eye formation here. Tight end off the line as well. Whale's got the ball. Nice run to the outside. It was. And if old mate had it got low enough, he would have stopped that extra two yeah. or three yards. It is very close to a first down though. Uh, no, we're... There's the marker there. Yeah, yeah. no, fourth down. Fourth so down fourth here. down and one pretty much. Oh, I reckon they're going to go for it here. They will. Yeah, absolutely. Fourth down and they, one and a half. They bring in, they brought in reinforcements to the O-line here. Defence is still, it's my call and Jake Parford have come in. Yep. So this is definitely going to be a run, boys. <laughs> Smash mouth football, let's see if the gorillas <laughs> yeah. can hold up. Simple as that. Well, yeah, absolutely. We know exactly what they're going to do. It's a matter of whether the Gorillas can, can stop, stop it. this Smash Mouth football. Yeah. So they've got one, two, three, four. Here's Jake Parford at straight in the four centre. Four up on the line. I wouldn't be surprised if we've got a QB sneak here. Yeah, yep, that's good call there, Matt. Oh, oh no, handed off to Wale. Wale. That's the yeah, first down. Great first run, down. big man. Right run there. I think if he didn't fumble that, he, he might have run it. Oh, I thought, yeah, I think so as well. But I think gave you it off to Whale. Spot on there. <laughs> it's not often I'm spot on, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take any win when I can get it. Absolutely, mate. <laughs> oh, Whale coming off for a well earned rest oh, here. Oh, my God. The boy, the He's boy put is in the work. knackered. And don't pay any attention to that gut, people. Like, that is 100% wrecking machine. You get in front of that, you get hurt. So we've got a first and 10 on the 40-yard line. 
Knight's ball. Single back here. Oh, Outside the run to the pitch. pitch. Beautifully read there. Great read. And, uh, Pete win number 84. Oh, he's winding <laughs> back the clock every single play, mate. I don't think the clock's ever gone forward for Pete, to be honest with you. Right. <laughs> he yeah, is a brilliant man. player. 49 years old, people. And looks fitter than some of the 30-year-olds running around here at the moment. Uh, he's Pete fitter Wynn. than the majority of the people on that field right now. <laughs> Pete when we salute you, and if we can look as good as you when we're your age. <laughs> oh, no. oh, my God. <laughs> That's the voice of Jenny Webster right there. The voice big of the people. Big second down play here for the Knights. Oh, big stop oh. by the Gorillas there in the backfield. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, They've gone straight over the top. Number 70, who are we looking at there? Casey See, Little. Little with the huge play. That is actually Taz Little's little brother. Oh, <laughs> yeah. damn. <laughs> hey, keep it in the family. Oh, that was huge. Just, oh, yeah, just stop you oh, right there, man. bitch. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean for play. the B word. <laughs> What B-word? You're right, mate. I hope we're on a slight delay so they can beep it. Oh, look, I'll just beep you out from now on, all right? It's technology, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know what we can do. All right, we're getting towards the end of the first half here. Yeah. Big play for the Knights coming up. They need to get back on the scoreboard. Oh, oh they're the shaking up the throw, Michael Healy. Will. Oh, here Big we go. Big throw downfield. Oh. oh. He turned around too quick. Oh. If he had it kept running, he, he would have had that. He Touchdown. Was in, he was through on he double coverage in. too there. Damn, bro. That was a great throw from Healy, though. Keep running. Every quarterback's nightmare. <laughs> you got to keep running. You oh. can't get caught ball watching. If I was the Knights QB right now, I would be furious. You keep running and that's on your outside shoulder, TD. Right, so we've got so fourth we've got down and we've got a punt here. Fourth down and about 19. Josh Smith back there to so return the, the Gorillas. Yeah, they held them really well. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a it's short a punt. punt. Damn. Oh. So we've got 10, 20, about a 30-yard punt there. That, yeah. That's old jelly legs right there. Yeah, that'll be the Gorillas getting the ball about a 25. Yeah. Chance to go to get into the lead before half time. I'm just getting the door open again, guys, because oh my god, I think I've lost about a kilo of, uh, of weight in sweat. I'm sitting here watching this and getting so oh, excited. I'll give you a few more. At the day we've got planned today, this is phenomenal. Couldn't ask for a better game on a better day in Hobart, Tasmania. The perfect little island state. Huge play coming up here for the Gorillas. Another run up the middle. Beautiful block there from the fullback too. Got some good yards, but Yep, set about seven yards there. Oh, and they're hurrying up here. Hurry up offense. Straight got, to the line. They got the six, they got four yards there. They're looking second and six. Straight oh. up for the fullback. Oh, yeah. he's Nearly still got, going. Beautiful oh. run there. Just stopped him, I think. I think he's about a half yard short. Yeah, about a half yard short there, mate. I've got the pylon directly in front of me. Yep. So if the ref gives him first down. No. Oh, he's, he's giving him less yards. Yeah, he's... Uh, no, no the head the lineman buddy. there is called uh, there third you down. Go. Third down and inches. The refs down here are phenomenal. Hand off yeah, again. There's the first, the first down. down. And more. Both teams running this smash mouth football oh, really well great today. Great right? to watch. Oh. <laughs> Well, for me, it's great to watch. <laughs> it's physical and it's hard. Oh, for me, I'm feeling for that defense out there because, damn, play after play. They need a big stop here. They do. Hand off to Josh Smith again. Oh, he's got through the line there for about two yards. The Gorillas running such a quick offense that they yeah. didn't even get the pylon set up before that first <laughs> play was run off. <coughs> Excuse me. His replay of that last play. Oh, Ooh. see, he should have gone the outside there and yeah. he might have got a couple more yards. But big fella, number 93. Three. Oh, 
Brody Christensen. Brody, oh dear, Brody. Damn. <laughs> He'll be right though. Brody's a tough nut. <laughs> in uh, in the famous words of Chris Rock, you just got knocked the f out. <laughs> That was Chris Tucker. Anyway. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> both comedians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. See how good at this I am, football fans? <laughs> oh, I just like correcting people. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I'm more country bumpkin than the bumpkins anywhere. Oh, we're in shotgun. We got the pass oh, here from he Marcus. He's avoided the sack. He did. Oh. Oh, who was that here that just busted through? Sidestep. Sidestep from Marcus. Oh, I reckon that'd be Sam Kluke there. Oh. He busted through the line, number 34. Very good defensive end there. Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. It's probably a good thing for the wide receiver there that he didn't catch it. Exactly. He would have taken a hit there. Oh, he would have been lit up. <laughs> That's what defensive players love. Oh, yeah. Wide receivers catching it and then whack. Boom. <laughs> I reckon they're going to back in shotgun here, so they're looking to pass. They're really trying to score before the half. Split backs. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a pass to the flat. Yeah, there's Taz on the he out was route. looking for Taz. Yep. Oh, he's gone oh, he's long. Gone. He's second. Oh, that's going to be a big catch oh, there. Huge play from 37. Massive. What a catch. That's two huge plays for him so far and in this game. Bo Tuttle. Bo oh, Tuttle. my God. Having a hell of a performance out there at wide receiver. Got lit up after the catch and still held onto that ball. Oh, that is wonderful effort. And what a throw from Marcus Dornoff, eh? Absolutely. It was a bit of a wobbler. He had a but long time great to pass set that of ball hands. too. Great set of hands. Great protection from the offensive line. I reckon they're going to go back to the well, go back to that run game here. Try and make a few quick yards. Maybe even a play action the way yeah. Marcus is moving around. He's definitely nah, locked in. Straight now. up the straight guts up again. The... Smash Beautiful out. Beautiful run, Josh. He's oh, he's it. out. He's away. Oh, oh, yes. Great cut to the outside there from Josh Smith, number 38. Oh, phenomenal. That was like a goose step. Oh, I'm here. David Campuzzi, oh, you're hard out. <laughs> Jeez, Australian Rugby Watch Union, this check this boy out. Boo! <laughs> Good open field tackle. Eight, from number 31. 38, too. So, uh, Jared Hayne esque. <laughs> in the uh, red and white. Shout out to all the San Francisco 49 fans out there. Unlucky this year. But, yeah, unlucky. Uh, unlucky. Or did they just get beaten by the better team? Well, <laughs> the better team would have been Green Bay Packers. Oh, but, uh, oh, oh dear. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Had yourselves a mischief in, oh, in, we made in the conference a game. Mischief big time. <laughs> Made Shout out more. to Ricky Butler. <laughs> Your boys beat us on the day, mate. Oh, that wind is awesome. Can we leave that one open, please? Oh. She's a bit warm in here, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a bigger body anyway, so I swear. What are you talking about, mate? Uh, well, <laughs> 100 kilos of uh, solar panel for a <laughs> machine. <laughs> right here, we've got the gorillas first and goal here. About 10 yards away from scoring. They are too. Oh, that was With close to a oh, oh, straight through. Steps oh, he's around. got away from it. With the pass. Oh, oh incomplete. incomplete. Dornhoff with that side. Oh, with that his pocket presence is unbelievable in this phenomenal. game. Phenomenal. They've broken to him about three or four times in this game, and every time he's read it. They just can't bring him down. His back is towards the player. I don't know how he sees him coming. It was a blown assignment from the tight end there. Sorry, yeah. Pete. <laughs> You've missed your man. Damn. <laughs> and as a defensive player, you look silly doing that. <laughs> it was a beautiful step from Marcus. Shout out to our cameraman up there doing an absolutely phenomenal job keeping an eye on the play. Here we go. Gorillas have to score here. Snapping the run to Josh Smith straight up the middle for no gain there. Beautiful job by the Knights D line. Knights boys doing well right there. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> number 71. Guess who? Oh. Guess who? Oh dear. Jesus. If you don't push him back, he's gonna penetrate that line. Mickey Dodd's coming yeah. for you. 
His hips are phenomenal. <laughs> These hips don't lie. They do not lie. Oh, oh they got the double team. Mike on him. Hall oh. broke through the line there, skipped straight past the centre and stuffed it in the backfield. Well, the centre and the O lineman went yeah, for Mickey Dog to try and stop did. him. Opened up a big <laughs> old gap. Damn. <laughs> Let's just stop that right there in the yeah. backfield. Not in my house. Right, I think we've got a third down here for the Gorillas. Still. We're looking at a third and about two yards, I think, mate. Yeah. Big play in regards to this game. All oh, locked up at 6-6, yeah. six, six, coming towards half time. If the Gorillas can get a stop here and maybe a turnover. Whatever side comes out on top, he's going to take momentum into that second half. Most definitely. Oh, it's a turnover. It was a turnover on Downs. Jesus. The Knights have got the ball. Oh. And they've headed out. Oh! oh! Almost intercepted by Josh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're changing the game around on That must guys. have been a fourth down just before. Sorry about that. <laughs> Viewers uh, to, can't see the chain markers. Oh, you, but, you've yeah. got to love amateur commentators. Oh. Bruce McAvaney, we are not. <laughs> I'm kind of glad about that, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So it's the Knights. Oh, Second and oh, that was so close. He should have held oh, on to that. Josh, you'd be a bit mad in yourself there. He would. He so got... we're doing second down and ten on the ten-yard line, guys. Considering he had five interceptions in the game three oh, weeks ago. <laughs> to do that, he'd be. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Muff stuffed in the backfield by the Grillers' we a, defense. We had a miscommunication oh, there for that, the handoff. That was a play action gone wrong, I and think. And the boys came through and stuffed it. Drove him back for about, we're doing a third and about 15 viewers. Yeah. Sorry, we're doing thereabouts because we're in the van. We can't see the, the down pylons. So uh, we'll, we'll judge as best we can. So third down and about 14 for the Knights. We've got a two-minute exactly warning. Exactly, two-minute warning, mate. So uh, for all of you that don't know, the two-minute warning is the end of the quarter. You get two minutes to go and have a drink, have a break, talk tactics, and, uh, and come back out. Um, generally, the, the clock keeps running, but in some instances, the clock will stop. So... At any one time, these boys could be out on the field for 20 minutes on a defensive line trying to stop an offense. That's the half. Oh, it's the half? Yep. Okay, so we're not actually hearing the two-minute warning. I'm going to go and have a chat to the refs and say we need to hear it as well, please, because uh, our viewers have the right to know <laughs> and we have the right to sound semi-smart. So we're uh, here at Tiger Bowl 6. It's half time. The uh, Tazkino Night 6. And the Sporties Gorilla Six. We'll Thank you all. Time, we are going to go and get a drink and uh, do a toilet break. I suggest you do the same and tag your grandmother in, uh, in the Gridiron Tasmania page and tell her to watch this as well. Let's get as many views on the Duff TV site as possible as a way to thank them for doing all the local sports. Football, netball, touch football. These guys do it all just so that uh, viewers like us can see local sports and our local heroes play. So thank you, Duff TV. Thank you, Queen's Head Knights. Thank you uh, to the Sporties Gorillas. We'll thank see you, you to soon, the, uh, guys. Maypole Devils and the Northwest Raiders. Wise guys, Northwest Raiders. Wise guys. Get about All right, wise guys. guys for some pizza. We're going for a toilet break, get a food, get a drink. We'll uh, be back in about 15 minutes. Thank you so much.
Feel good, Ben? Yeah. So the bats are all good? Yeah. I thought Anna brought us some food. Don't buy it, don't buy it. I don't know.
And welcome back, football fans, to Rugby Park here in Lutana, Hobart, Tasmania. With uh, Tiger Bowl 6, we're looking at the Queen's Head Knights and the Sporties Gorillas, six all apiece at the half. Both teams have gone inside, done their team talks, trying to find out what's going on. Um, coming out... Looking to make a statement in the first Absolutely. second half, I think. I reckon the first few plays of this second half is going to determine the Tiger Bowl there, mate. I think it will. So the kickoff here uh, will go deep, I think, because yep. the, the Knights can kick deep. Um, but let's see they've how got, there's chicken legs on the Sporties Gorillas. The Gorillas have got to be alert for the onside kick here, Tove. Let's see. Will it be an onside? I... Uh, <laughs> it's hard to tell with this bloke, mate. It's hard to But it's coming at some stage, trust me. It is. <laughs> Hot tip. <laughs> and we're about to get underway and we're off. Yeah, we the big kickoff. Oh, oh it almost fell off the tee. It did. Straight to Taz Little for the Run return the here. Right hand side. Oh, oh great tackle there in the open field. Knight's doing well there too. Absolutely. To, uh... Number 23, that'd be Angus Bailey. With a good stop. It is Angus J. Bailey. Beautiful. That was a good guess on my part. It really was. <laughs> oh. So to anyone who's uh, not watching at the moment, or well, if you're not watching, you're not hearing this, <laughs> but tag all your friends in. Um, it's on the Tasmanian Gridiron Facebook page. Get to watching and you can hear me and uh, Mr. Barron here do our thing and have a laugh while we're doing it because let's be honest we're all amateurs it's definitely not our day job oh stuffed on the run to the outside there couldn't get outside that containment very much so beautiful stop there from 34 mr sam cloak i feel i'm very much out of place with all this technology that duff tv have brought on board and uh and us simpletons trying to work it oh look really all we got to do is talk Exactly. <laughs> and talk we do. Sometimes it's rubbish, so we do apologise, guys. Nice little run there. It's so probably the more entertaining parts, anyway. <laughs> exactly. So we're looking at a second and seven yards here for the Gorillas. The Gorillas have got to air this ball out. They looking have to make to a statement. Their, yep, they're lining up in shotgun with split backs. Here's hope. In passing formation. It's depending. And here we go. 37s. Oh, short to the flap. Well, Nobody short. could get open on that one. Exactly. That was great coverage by the Knights secondary. Smith's looking for the uh, flag, but uh, none coming. He thought it was might have been a face mask, but, yeah, no. Let's have a look at it here. The replay here. 37. Oh, no flag there, oh, mate. Oh, yeah. no. No. 38, sorry, Mr. Smith. Well called by the line hit. judge. Shout exactly. out to Blair Busher. Great left tackle from the Northwest Raiders. There you go. Thank you for umpiring, Blair. <laughs> this is the fun part of Tasmanian Gridiron, guys. We're a third and six. Big passing play. He's going an audible, here. I think. Yeah. He's seen the Knights line. Yep. Pass play here. Looking there to get someone over. He's, 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 he's headed out. Oh, he's got it. Oh, 
Oh, he's just dropped it. Damn. Oh, what an effort, though. Oh, oh, he just on the impact of the ground, it's bubbled loose. Storn off, aired it out, oh. and has little. Hey, once you hit that deck in those oh, pads, it's flat, it, it really does hurt. That so, was one of the better deep routes we've was, seen. Oh, oh, it just fell out ugh. there. Oh, I love the fact that uh, number 21, who we got you did here? Tommy Shepard. Tommy <laughs> Shepard's like, no, it's no reception, but you didn't do anything, Tommy. You didn't <laughs> affect the we play. We love mate. you, Tommy, though. We love you, Tommy <laughs> Shepard. But you didn't affect the play, so you can't play the big defensive. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to actually do something, buddy. <laughs> See, look at this. <laughs> oh. He wasn't even the he look, wasn't even the defense on it. He was just he was just happy it was incomplete exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> Here comes the punt from the gorillas. Oh, that's a boom! Beautiful oh, tight spiral. Jesus. Oh, look, that's oh, going to be a touchback. touchback. It is. Jesus Christ, that was a good punt. I'm guessing about a 65-yard yeah, punt absolutely. at the end of the roll. So for those at home, a touchback means... Wait there, we've got a flag oh. on the play. Oh, oh dear. Do we? Yeah, there's one far uh, back one in the... On, yep. on, so I'm guessing there was a holding on the uh, receiving team because it's out on the, uh, the wide edge. Yes, you got the holding by the Knights player on the outside edge there, stopping the, the receiver getting back. Stopping the runner getting back, sorry, guys. So now the refs will all concur as to whether the punt is taken again with a penalty or it's added on to the end of the play, I think. Yeah, yeah, it'll be one of the two there, mate. So if the Knights do get, if the penalty is upheld, the Knights will receive the ball on the 10, more than likely. Thereabouts. Here we go, listen to the refs. Blair trying to be a white cap there, mate. Exactly. He needs he needs to um, understand his position on the field there, I reckon. He needs to speak up so we can hear him. Yeah. Two of the stalwarts just standing in front of the camera here, Luke Crowley and Mickey Dodd. Oh, oh my God. So, so coach is uh, just having a chat on what sort of penalty he wants to take, I think. Oh, yeah. Against the return team, 10-yard penalty from the 20 because it was a touchback. So it's a first and ten on the 30 for the Knights. Uh, I'll be on the 10, mate. Or was it, sorry, was that against the Gorillas or against the Knights? No, it was holding on the Knights. Knights. So it drives yeah. them back. Yeah, that'll drive them back to the 10 there. Number 20 <laughs> trying to get his side fired up there. Oh, yeah. He's showing a lot of enthusiasm, loving it. Hey, what penalty is that? Big shout out to uh, Dante Hoff, who uh, Mr. Burger. They uh, they do the best burgers in Hobart, guys, and uh, he's one of the better cooks. He's now an all-star as well, selected into the A squad this morning. There we <laughs> go. Congratulations, Dante, on your selection. And thank you for putting bacon on every one of my burgers, baby. How good's bacon? Oh. Shout out to all the big fellas out there. <laughs> exactly. Oh, stuffed in the backfield by the Gorillas D-line again. That would be Rob Williams, Mr. Bear. I'm guessing Stopping he's it. been knocked back for about one or two yards. Absolutely. Oh, no, stopped on the line. So, mate, got back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, that's hard running there, ladies and gentlemen. That is some tough inside play. Oh, just drive the ball, drive the legs. Get those yards that you need. A bit of frustration coming from the Knights O-line there too. Shaping up an eye formation here Eye formation, again. Aaron Whale to run the ball, I'm guessing. Oh, he's no, going to air it out play. here, Healy. Oh, oh, he's, oh the, just beyond there was Luke great Crowley. Pressure. There was great pressure there, there from was. the defense. I oh, didn't know Luke could run that far, to be honest with you. <laughs> Neither did anybody until Luke just did it himself. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to Chris Jackson, who probably would have got to the QB at that stage, but... Uh, a little bit old and, and retired now, so my brother, welcome to the viewing. Great. Oh, Pete Wynn with the pressure there on the outside. Yeah. Beautiful work by Pete. Chris Jackson-esque. <laughs> Big third down play here for the Knights. Here we go. 
So we've got a third and nine. Passing. Passing. Oh, oh over the receiver's head. Incomplete oh. football fans. Oh, look at the statuesque Brett Weldon standing over oh, there. Oh, there's my brother. Oh, my God. This man pulled on a referee shirt last... Not last week, the A couple week of weeks before. ago, yeah. And, oh, my God, it looked like a mankini. <laughs> ah, um, look. He is a good-looking man, to be he fair. He made it look good. Yeah. This he's thing. just, oh, there's the receiver stop his route there, yeah, or was he overthrown? I, I think he stopped, but... Well, Don't ask the QB. Exactly. <laughs> So we got the Knights punting here, number 81 with the big boot. So fourth and nine with the punt. I'm expecting about a 50-yard punt here. Oh, oh no, he's got no, underneath it's gone it. Short. It's gone high. Jesus. The ball and is live. It's come off at night. The Knights have recovered. That ball was live. It was live. No, if it bounced, depends who it's hit first. Exactly. Here we go. The rest will confer here. But I have a sneaky suspicion this may be Gorilla's ball. On the 44. Thereabouts. Just got underneath this punt. And it just sat up there rather than the distance you were probably looking for. Well, the wind has actually started picking up from yeah. uh, left to right of our screen here. Well, that'll make it difficult to so kick in any it's day. it's holding yeah. up, but I think he actually got underneath it. Gorilla's end. ball. Oh. So Gorilla's in great field position here. They do. Looking to take the lead in the third quarter. On the 30-yard line. Need a big push from their O-line here. Oh, sorry, on the... Uh, we're 20, no, about 35. Four, yeah, rounds about. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just bounce off each other yeah, and we'll get the roundabouts. Not? We'll get it close. Big drive up coming here for the Gorillas. The big boys have got to get on their bike here. Hey, they want to get some points on yeah, the board absolutely. with such good field position. They want to get momentum in this game. They've been there and there about, so they just need that one play to come off. They have. Oh, we got a pass. We got a pass in split backs. Oh, oh, he's avoided the sack. Oh, he's heaved it downfield, but out of bounds. Yes. Nice, I feel he's looking for uh, Taz Little quite a little bit too much. Ah, uh, he is his favourite receiver. No he does puns. Look, he, he tends to eye him off a bit. Because I saw um, I saw an open receiver here in the flat, but he had his mind set yeah, on Taz Little that yeah, one, I That think. was definitely designed down the field, and as soon as he... Uh, got rushed out of the pocket there. He's looking for his favourite receiver, which is fair enough. Yeah, he You're left some lumps in his pants on the way there. Yeah, so. yeah. He's looking for his guy to make a play. So we're doing uh, second down and ten, guys. Outside pressure coming big time from the Knights oh, here too. Oh, the right-hand side. They've stacked it. And here it comes. Here comes the rush. Oh, it's great possible. Great, great catch. Oh Bo Tuttle again with a brilliant catch and a first down. Bo Tuttle having a captain's game. Absolutely. Of the year. Smart is, by he has not let quarterback Marcus down at all. Oh, and that was a pretty bad throw by Marcus. Way She's down at the ankles. Yeah. But look at this. To be able to get down, scoop it up, and then make that extra two or three yards. Is phenomenal. Oh, he takes that shot too. Oh, yeah. Still holds onto the ball. Yep. Beautiful. They wanted to get it out of there. So we're doing first and ten in the red zone. Oh, first and about nine, I think. Got the audible here. Changing the play at Dornoff nine. coming up to shotgun. Here comes the run, I reckon, mate. There it is. Straight up the middle. For about two yards. Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, good job by 34 staying at home there. And making the tackle. Read the play well. Absolutely. And the ref's favourite sign, the second down sign. Exactly. Every medal lover's dream. you got to love a second down. <laughs> no, I actually like the third. <laughs> <laughs> Two in the P, one in the, oh, in dear. the S. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for all the... Shout out the, to Steel uh, Panther there. Exactly. 
Oh, I think that's the first time anyone shattered at the Steel Panther on a live feed. <laughs> oh, great throw by Mark oh, the Tuttle yeah, again. After. Who's looking to get the touch? Yeah, and he's after. Got a oh, touchdown! That was what phenomenal. a play after the catch. Would the, not be tackled. Oh, legs pumping. Look at those chicken little legs go. Oh, my dear God, the skinny gets the job done. Oh, so that's a uh, six points. To the Gorillas, so we're now looking at a 12-6 game with the conversion to come. And that's a big, big score in the context oh, of the game in the here. context, when Absolutely. the Knights come out on the opening drive and score a touchdown, this is the best way to respond coming out of the half. Absolutely. With a captain's run going, no, one tackle, two tackles, three tackles, screw you guys, I'm going to keep driving, and, and there. What a play, oh, Tuttle. Love your work, Tuttle. So far, my MVP. Oh, oh, has to be. Absolutely. They have to be looking at that for the MVP. Right, big two-point conversion so coming two point here to conversion. put them up two scores rather than one. Makes it more difficult for the Knights to come back. I reckon Marcus is going to trust his arm here. And look at uh, his main man, Mr. Tuttle. Absolutely. The there he is. Oh. oh, almost picked off there by the almost. middle linebacker. So no conversion. So that keeps it at 12-6. <laughs> Halfway through the quarter, uh, football fans, we're looking at the uh, Queenshead Knight 6 and the Sporties Gorillas 12. Um, this is a stunning day and a stunning game of football with some absolute legends on the field. Um, I can't, there's no other way to describe this day apart from bliss yep. for a fat guy who loves the sport of football. Absolutely. Getting a better sunburn from the uh, UV rays in Tassie. Come on, Eli. Can't do any better. And for all you interstate viewers, have a look at the day we're putting on down here. We might rain 260 days in the year, but when we turn it on, we turn it on. Absolutely, mate. I think the, the state motto, Tasmania, love this place. So uh, here's to Tassie and here's to some great American the football. The Knights are short-handed on the kick, kick return here. No, they've fixed it up now. Oh, they have. Uh, so in context, the Knights need a massive drive from their offence here. And it starts and it finishes with the offensive line, in exactly. my opinion, mate. But they need to get on their bikes and make the holes for their running backs. Most definitely. It comes down to this. Remember, we've only had two kickoffs and one of them was running for a touchdown. Absolutely. So Caleb will be looking to kick this out the back of the end zone because they definitely don't want to repeat it the exactly. first half. Exactly. And we've got a, a slight, probably five kilometre win yeah. to the right of screen. And there so it, is. it didn't go long enough. Oh. Here we go. He's going to make a Here run. Here we go. He's away. Oh. Oh, he's broken the tackle. He's oh, through. That's oh. a trip. That's a trip. That's a flag right there. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah, we've got a flag on the We've got a flag. We've got it way downfield, though. You can't stick your leg out like that, people. As much as we've got helmets and pads on and you think there's no rules, you, you, can't, trip a, you can't trip a guy who's looking for an open field run. Watch the leg come out here. Oh, dear. That's... Yeah. Unfortunate number that is. Three. Number three, Chad Honey there. Chad Honey, I think you're going to be missing some weeks next year, buddy. Um, we've we've seen weeks for less, so we'll see how you go, bud. But yeah, hey, I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. Oh, look, I'm sure he was just trying like to get the start. Natural reaction, but I'm it's sure still not. To. Yeah, we'll see what the refs got to say here. Offside on the receiving chain. What about the trip, ref? Oh, oh the refs didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, they haven't called it much, so I don't reckon they... No, unfortunately, they don't have the advantage of the cameras that no, we do. No, they don't, but yeah. thank you to Duff TV. We'll have a replay and a tribunal, and uh, we'll see uh, what the tribunal has to say. Damn. Here, the coach in the 90s. He's not happy with the call. You can just trip the ball carrier, he's saying. Big Steve Aegis, absolute wonderful man, knows the sport inside and out, and uh, is willing to help anyone who wants to learn the game Absolutely. of football. Absolutely, a great lover of football. We've got to run by way well, Or stopped at the line. Oh no, he's Stuffed. still going. <laughs> The yards after contact. After contact, it's average would be about three to four yards exactly. after contact. Well, he's Easily. made three right there. Yeah. Oh, number seven, he's limping off the field here. 
That's another four. casualty of Aaron Whale, I think. <laughs> One of the best things when you're a fullback is when you run into the back of your offensive lineman oh. and he just gets on his spot. <laughs> <laughs> Makes those holes for you. Exactly. <laughs> Either that or you knock the wind out of his Oh, kidneys. mate, either way, you're making yards. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're back in eye formation here for the Knights. I reckon we have a repeat of the first down. Straight to the halfback, Tom Neely. Good work, Tom Neely. Yeah. Mate. Great, Great good little run. Yards there. Yeah. <laughs> Three yards. Great little hole open up there by the O. This is a very tight game. Oh, it's physical too, mate. This, this is extremely physical football oh, going on right there. And this there. season is yeah. just a, a product yeah. of it. Um, it was so close between all four teams Absolutely this year. Absolutely it was. Um, it came down to the last game of the minor premiers, yep. which uh, the Knights took away from the Devils. Yeah. And it came down to a game between the uh, Knights, uh, sorry, the Raiders and the Gorillas to get into the finals. Yeah, yep, yeah, in the last week, the last double header. And we've now got the Gorillas who aren't minor premiers the winning. Yeah. Exactly. Right and away with the carry there to the about 40 yard line. So we've got fourth, so we've got and fourth down and two. And fourth and two, they're going for it? Yeah, he's they're going for again. it. Oh, yards up, oh contact my again. God. He is running his heart out, mate. They need he to is get giving around everything his for his team. <laughs> You see a mountain coming at you and you try and yeah. stop it up the top, but no. you need to get it at the base. Ten and cut a lot down of a tree, mate. <laughs> a lot of people learn that the hard yeah. way. Here we go again, Aaron Whale for the yards. Well, he looks yards like he's after. got a first down there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, great first down. First down. Aaron Whale with the yards. Oh, my God. Full back, half back, can run. Oh, can't run, but got a turn and circle of a Mack truck. Look. But once he gets that speed up, nobody's stopping. Those legs keep a churn. <laughs> oh, he's a comedian, isn't he? Stephen <laughs> Ages. He's hot. No, it's 40 degrees in Malaysia. <laughs> oh, we got a pass here from Neely. Short pass. Catch oh. by Crowley. Oh, with the big first down there. Crowley from tight end winding back the clock. Knights on the move here. They've got to score on this possession. That was a big play by Luke Crowley there at the tight end position. Oh, yeah. Looked like he was putting the block on. Cut out in the flat. First down, Knights. Oh, he bobbled it a little bit, he but he, did. he brought it back in. Great job, Luke. He wasn't real confident of those hands, <laughs> but in the end, he pulled it in. Oh, I don't really blame him either. <laughs> so first and 10 on about the 30-yard line. Oh, a little run up the middle here. Oh, Gorillas D did well there. Absolutely, they've right down. Stopped at the line. Middle linebacker number 45, Aaron DeBear, with a great tackle there. There's Pete Wynn on the outside. Sucking in those deep ones, but he'll oh, be there don't... all game, yeah. all day. 49 years old and still making plays. Oh, as he likes to say, 49 years young. Exactly. <laughs> oh, big shout out to Raiders middle linebacker who's watching all the way from Abu Dhabi right now, Stuart Bright. Oh, Stuart. How are you going, Stewie, in the desert, mate? Good to see you, brother. <laughs> Hope you're not uh, having too much fun with the camels over there. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, a big and completion great there. Number 18. There. What a catch. Don't think it's enough for a first down. Anthony. Great job, mate. Sorry, I cannot say your last name. Anthony have a... Papadelius. Oh, beautifully done. Uh, or Papadelius. I'm not sure. I Sorry if I offend with the accent. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, I think some words just have to be said with an accent, to be well, honest with you. They do. Yeah. <laughs> with the PC world these days, though, you, you oh. can't be too careful, can you? It is what it is. So we're looking yeah. at a first and 10 on about the 20-yard line. Here's a big run up the middle. Wow, again, rumbling forward for five yards. The Knights are using this run to their advantage. Absolutely. They're eating up a lot of clock here, too. Very much so. It's If they keep if the gorillas can't make the stop, it's about to be 12-12. Right run up the middle. That's what you love to see.
A oh, big shout out to one of my ex comrades, uh, Adam Bolton, who played with the Eastern Shore Sharks back in the day, watching from Queensland. Oh, g'day, Adam. Uh, has won the last, I think, six Sun Bowls up there with his team. So, uh, big oh, shout big out. Big pass. Oh, oh Adam, completion to Crowley Luke again. Luke Crowley, but fire. we've got a flag on the play. We've got a flag on the, on the line of scrimmage, so. Maybe a false start. Let's have a listen. off there so where's the flag coming in the flag was already down yeah, so, so i'm I guessing it's, it's a free play yeah it's either a yep. a offsides or a false start false start uh, uh, oh they would have blown it dead if it was a false start yep, yep. offside defense the yep. knights are going to score here i think yeah the Mike Hall in it, running back here. Oh, no. Oh, straight to Whale, who's cut to the outside. Jesus. Five-yard run, beautifully done by the big man. How was that footwork from Whale? <laughs> Jesus. It's a thing of beauty, mate. That's I have what it is. never seen a man that size move that agile. Look, watch this. Watch this step. Watch this step. Get here it? Boom. Boom. Let's go to the outside, and let's take another four or five. Oh. Hey. He registers on the seismic equator when he hits the ground. Oh, He's absolutely. He's much of a machine. It's an absolute love fest for Whale here at the moment, to be oh. honest with you. Oh. Uh, so we can't got get enough of the man. We've got heavy backs in here for the Knights. Oh. Heavy backs. We do. Oh, fumble. fumble. Oh, Healy, oh. great recovery. Very good Oh, recovery. he almost lost it in between his legs there. Oh, that was uh, nearly lost to Pete Wynn. He got into the backfield very quickly there. Oh, a gorilla watching from Port Macquarie at the moment. Jono Trunks, unfortunately, couldn't get down for the Tiger Bowl. Jono, we miss you, mate. Great Jono, job this season. You guys have done well and your boys are doing you proud, mate. So uh, here's to, to you up there. Anyone else want to shout out? Just uh, message either Baron or myself. Like, we're here to have fun, guys. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we've got a timeout now. Oh, the boy. boys are needing a drink, I think. Oh, I think it's the end, oh, of, no, the end of the quarter. End of the third quarter. This game is going quick, guys. So we've got the Knights still moving forward this with a third down uh, and change of ends. So it is coming down to the wire here. All right. So I'm going to uh, name all the players that we've got now during the change of quarters, just to give a shout out to the ones who have actually put in the hard yards and made it to the uh, to the grand final. So, we have at number 98, Jake Parfitt, number 56, Adam Weeding, number 76, Phil Davis, 57, the big Pete Berwick. Oh, Pete. Oh, he hurts when he hits you, but he's getting a little bit slower these days. Number 81, Dan Fafanger, number 30, Tom Neely, number 52, Aaron Wayo. Uh, number 23, Angus Bailey, 18, Anthony Papadelius, 61, Brett Lund, Elijah Devine, number 11, Hanny Moore, 53, uh, Howie Clark, 51, John Werner, 80, Jack Wakefield, 10, 89, Mr. Josh Lysette, who does some referees, so thank you, brother. 16, Kai Mason, uh, what else have I got? Lachlan Burnett, 58. Mark Rissus, one. 44, Michael Healy. 71, Mick Dodd. 90, Mick Hall. I'm trying to finish it before we start. Mick Toth, Sam Klug, Scott Alred. I'll finish him after here. Absolutely. Big play coming up here for the Knights. Big Still one. driving forward at the start of the fourth quarter. Oh, star tight end, Luke Crowley off the field for this play. He is. Hand off to Big Mike Hall. He's, He's going in. He's, He's going, going, going touchdown. He's absolutely bowled over the safety. Oh. What a run from Mike Hall. He cannot even believe it himself. He's like, am I here? I'm here. Touchdown. Nobody was stopping him on that play. So that's six to the Knights right there with the conversion to come. 12-12, all tied up in the fourth quarter of the Tiger Bowl. Tasmanian American football fans, if you are not excited by this game, 
One minute into the fourth quarter, we've got an even game. Get down here to Rugby Park. If not, share everything and let's get on Shoot Duff TV. Shoot into the live stream, people. Oh. We've got a game on our hands. Let's show Duff TV that we love Tasmanian Gridiron and we'd like to get them back again to uh, keep filming these games and doing all the local sports that they do because it is much appreciated and there's little down here that do much for local sports. So thank you, Duff TV. Knights lining up for an important for the two point conversion here. Hand off to Wales on the right. Oh, and that's through. Yeah, that's through. Nobody's stopping Knights that. Knights take the lead in the fourth quarter, 14 to 12. Two we points. Them here. They've got the, all the momentum going with them, too. Oh, look at Aaron Whale. Like, oh, I, I have a bromance with Aaron Whale. That man is sexy personified when he runs with that ball. Jesus. Look, I've got another shout out to another Raider who's asked for one. Where we are? Oh, look, a 17 year old Reese Williams who plays with us. Gotcha. Now, it's an interesting fact about Reese. Yes. Size 18 feet. Jesus. He's going to be a big boy. They call him Shaq then? Uh, look, he hasn't quite learned how to use him. So, <laughs> think of Ian Thorpe before he was a good swimmer. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. 17 years old, big feet. And big there you go, Reese. Nelson. Don't know how to use it, Reese. But have have hey, a good buddy, day at the cinema, mate. With time, uh, uh, you'll learn how to use your feet and your other sizes. Yeah, you'll grow into it. Exactly, <laughs> buddy. I'm sure uh, we'll have one bloke on here who's played for a lot of years and an ex-knight, CJ Johnson, Craig Johnson, oh, my brother, yeah. used to uh, step around this field. He is 50 plus. Yes. and still moving around better than these guys. Just want to put a shout out to CJ. Thank you, brother, for everything you've done for Hobart basketball, football, and the youth of Glenorchy. Mate, we love you, and you're always welcome at Taz Gridiron. Onside kick coming here. Oh, I feel so. No? Ah, I'll get it right soon. We'll get it right soon. <laughs> oh, oh, we got oh, a touchback. Touch back. Great kick there. The Gorillas will get the ball from the 20 here. With the... All to play for here. Two points in it, all to play for. All right, so to finish off, we've got Scott Allred, number 64. We've got Stephen Agius, who is their illustrious coach. Line uh, coach there. To Jumbu Hart, uh, Tobias Deans, Tom Shepard, Tristan Webster, and not so much of a shout-out because he's an ex-devil, but Andrew Crew. Love shout you. Shout-out to the Love head coach anyway. the Knights, Derek Hagstrom. All right, so... From the Gorillas, we've got Brett Weldon, who's head coach, and Big Sexy over there in his singlet. We've got Stephen Wells, who's assistant coach. Chad Honey, Alex McCowan, Marcus Dornoff, Taz Little, Jacob Chaveau, Kane Delau, Bo Tuttle, Josh Smith, Come Alex on, Cross, Aaron on, DeBair, yeah. Sam Wise, Mike, Mike, Blair Mike. Ward, Mike. Jeff Clark, Lachlan Wood, Jason Bush, Jackson Stone, uh, Peter Dallow, Casey Little, Josh Cooper, uh, Long Pants Coops, Long Pants Coops Caleb Burrell, Barrack Hugh, Pete Wynn, Nathan Winder, Brady Christensen, Rob Williams, and Matt Cameron, another stalwart and a captain. Here we go, boys. Oh, it's on now, boys. First and 10 on the 20. Here we go. Run trap. Oh. The Knights have turned it up on defence. Big stuff in oh, the backfield there. Okay, guys, Love that. Number 89, Josh Lysett. Oh, Jake Parford as well in on the play. Yes. I've, I've got one more shout out. Thomas Best in Newcastle, also an ex Raider. Yes. Best advice he was ever given, not to take off the boot. So he'll understand that. Not many people will. Never take off the boot, Bestie. There you go, Bestie. You've heard it from the best. He stole your bike, Tony. Motivational tactics coming from the sideline. I love oh. it. Oh! oh big with the big play, number 80. The double reverse. Josh, Josh Lysette. Lysette. Oh, my oh God. He dear. read that. He read that better than the Encyclopedia Britannica at the Glenorchy Library, the boy. Jeez, Jesus. Oh, oh he's, he's a studious uh, young student, Mr. Lysette. But damn. Give me the ball, Josh. Just, oh, play that lost. A good 10 yards, so we're third and 20 now. Third and 20 with the Gorillas. Uh, yeah, jeez. All to do. Very much so. Got him rattled, Drew. They absolutely are. There's two points in it, guys, so 
we're, we're moving towards about the halfway mark in the fourth quarter. The Gorillas need a good drive here. Get some points or even good field position. We got the strong. Oh, incomplete. Put it down, number 37. Bo Tuttle. He's been great all day, but yeah, just, just put that one down. They're going to have to punt here, the Gorillas. They will. We're looking at a fourth and 21, guys. Good pressure from the D-line there. The D-line, Knights D-line has come to play in this last quarter. Oh, they saw what was on the line and they're putting it all out there. Look, it just comes in. who wants it more here. That's it, two points in it, half a quarter to go of a 60 minute football game. What a great game so far though. Comes down to who wants to put in the hard yards and the one percenters to take the game home. Will it go to Launceston? Will it stay in Hobart? We'll see. Come on, Dean! And there's the snap here, lines up the punt. It's a it's fairly good punt, fairly about a 35 40. Oh, oh, I would have been calling for the oh, fair catch there. Yeah. <laughs> Bravery from number 11 there. Oh. <laughs> I had sights of ambulance sirens right there. Yeah. Let's go! Damn. He would have been prairie dogging. <laughs> oh. And as you can hear, guys, both teams' sidelines are so pumped up. We've got about 150 people down here watching in a sport that is very little known it in Tasmania. Packed. So this is one thing that we could not ask more of. Fans, Duff TV, football, and 23 degree day with a picturesque view of Mount Wellington. So nothing can be better. We've got a first and 10 on the 40 yard line. Oh, 39. This is going guts. straight up the guts. Oh, I'm guessing straight so. Straight up the guts. Eye formation, heavy back seat. Smash in. mouth football to keep that two point lead. Absolutely. There it is. There it is. Another two, three yards there. I'd go as far to say four, but yes. Hang on. I thought I was a generous one. Yeah, well. <laughs> Come on, guys. The more excited Knights. I get, the more generous I am. <laughs> Knights are looking to chew up clock here and get first downs, and then they've got this. They're looking to become the first ever team in Good Iron Tasmania to go back to back in Tiger Bars, too. Damn. <laughs> The gorillas aren't done yet, though. There he goes, the big man. Great push from his halfback there, straight up him. Got him in at least an extra two yards. What a play. Oh. That is your job done. That is your job done, boys. Now, I've just had a uh, wonderful young lady come into the van, and uh, Trent and Phil in the US, Wales brothers who he goes over there to visit quite a bit, um, are watching from uh, the great old US of A. I know that our brand of football isn't the same that you guys watch over there, but it's, uh, it's such good fun. That's why your brother's doing so well. Love the whale and I love you brothers, so uh, thanks for watching. Keep an eye on. Uh, oh, stuffed line there. Oh, the helmet comes off. He's going to have to does. go off for a so, play. So uh, football fans, we play under US college rules. So if a helmet comes off in a play, that player has to come off um, because the helmet has left the body. And it's also just to do a concussion check. We've got a flag here too. It takes a lot of force to get those helmets off. So we do a bit of a head check. Our, our player's safety is uh, utmost. That, oh, a flag from Jared Bolden, who's actually my brother. That's the first time I've ever seen him throw a flag. Oh, damn, Jared. <laughs> Good on you, Jared. <laughs> Shout out to Jared. Respect my authority. <laughs> 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 so we got on the yeah, offside on number 84, trying to get a bit of a jump on the O-line there. But giving away the first down, Absolutely. unfortunately. That is a huge first down. Oh. In the context, it's taking them into Gorillas territory as well. In the context, the Gorillas need to get a stop here. Absolutely. They need to somehow force a fumble here. Very much so. The Knights won't be going to the air at this stage. No. So do our cameraman just keep it on, <laughs> keep it on the ball? They're only going to run it. There we go. Flag. 
off, it looks His like a are offside. false start, I reckon, here. What? Number 10. Ten. Oh, Jack Wakefield. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Jack Wakefield, the poor bastard. Ah, poor B, sorry. <laughs> Get a little bit carried away, sorry guys. Just enthusiasm, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Do not blame Duff TV, blame me. And sometimes the, the brain waves get mixed up in between the two heads. So I apologise if anything untoward comes out. Let's go! You've got this! Got it all to do now, being pushed back an extra five yards and a false start. Oh, run to the left great side, run. great run for five yards gained back. Mick Hall, one oh, of the player coaches. Oh, number oh. 87, Nathan Winter, the defensive captain, slow to get up here. He is. Hopefully he's oh. okay. No, he's up. Just he's a little up. bit of a stinger, yeah. I think. Yeah, wind taken out of him there. I no, he's giving the thumbs up. He's all good. So Let's we've go got a third go down go. and three and a half. Oh, we're on second down. Oh, yeah, third oh, no, down. Sorry. No, you're right, sorry. sorry. No, it's second down. Yep. He just switched, switched the uh, marker over. You guys can see it, so yep, you, know, you know that I'm not the only dumb arts in it watching this. So, second and three, Knights ball, smash mouth football to try and keep this lead. Be very surprised if they throw. Oh, they pass oh, it. They pass it. Damn. Oh, Crowley's open here. Oh, he's, he's going to run it. He's, he's running. going to get the first. Oh, oh he's got the first. What a down. hit. To be able to bounce off that and yeah. keep going. Kudos, Michael Healy. What oh, a first down. Both boys collided and just stopped. Like that was 100 mile an hour train, 100 mile an hour train. Who collide? What speed are they doing? F knows, but damn, it hurts. You know what that was? That was football. Oh, my God. If you don't like the sport of football now, guys, Boom. you never will. That just, both people wanting to get the ball and whack. Let's see who's standing here, later. Supporting his quarterback, getting there to make the secondary block. That exactly. is beautiful offensive line play. So third down and five yards, guys. Knight's ball. Uh, we've got a first down. No. Yep. That, that moved the sticks. See? Oh, they've got it wrong. Now, <laughs> our, uh, <laughs> our chain gang are messing with us. So it's first down, but uh, they're saying third, so making us look like numpties. Oh, we know I'm what gonna, we're doing. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get out and just let them know. Shows oh, oh, Mickey Doll with the block there on the number big three. Fe the big fella's down. <laughs> Josh Cooper. Oh, no. There. Oh, Joshy. Oh, his pants oh, are down around right. his ankles. No, I hope he's all right here. Josh, he's a great mate, too. So, if the cameraman can pan out, both teams will take a knee. Absolutely. On, uh, on an injury, because it's a show of respect. We're all out here. We all uh, respect what we're here for. And if this player is injured, he'll get carried off, and you'll see both teams clap as a sign of respect that, yes, you've came out on the field to battle. We respect what you're doing. Thank you. Um, so we've, we've got an injury, player, player safety is utmost here guys, like, um, yes we may have shoulder pads on, we may have helmets on, but uh, this is still a contact sport where there are parts of your body that are exposed, like your ribs, your kidneys, your liver, your shins, your ankles, and so forth. Oh, I think so, he's taking a shot to the head here, unfortunately. I yeah, I think they're taking the precaution Absolutely. of uh, keeping him down. He's one of the nicest blokes you ever meet too, Josh Cooper. He is. <sighs> Um, if you'll excuse me, because yeah, I no, do first worries. aid, I'll go yeah, absolutely, see if they need a hand. Yeah. Uh, he's up here. Gorilla's defense trying to get fired up here. Up he comes, Joshy. I hope he's all right. Oh, 
So a bit of a break in play here, ladies and gentlemen. The gorilla is down. Seems to be a shoulder injury here no, that I can hear. Seven minutes, by the way. Yes, I know. They're just talking. Ah, geez. Thank you, though. Seven minutes left in the game. The Knights up by two. It's all coming down to the wire here. The Knights driving. Looking for a big stop. Yeah, they definitely don't want to take his boot off in this situation. Well done, Joshy. Absolute warrior, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute warrior. Let's get it done, Offen! Let's go, guys! All right, we're about to resume play here. Seven minutes left in the last quarter. Knights with the ball looking to run the clock out and get him for another score. The ice the game. It's all happening. Let's go, Knights! To quote Bill Laurie. <laughs> Got the handoff straight to number 90 to the outside. Great tackle from Nathan Winter there. And the Gorillas swarming to make the stop. About two yards on the play there, I reckon. Oh, 87th down again. He's in the wars a bit here. But as all good worries, he's up and going again. Great block into the backside there. Iron up, it looks like we are on, second and eight. Tough, Big play coming up here for both teams. Let's go, Knights! Knights looking to punch it in. Gorillas looking for a turnover here. They need to get the ball back to get a score. Another hand off to the fullback. Wales gone through for the first down. What a run! He's absolutely gone through there like nobody's business. Oh, a knife through soft butter. An easy eight, maybe ten yards there. I'll give him ten. He's a big boy, he deserves it. Let's go! Rightio. Here come the Knights just driving their way down the field, chewing up that clock. As they're running the ball, the plate, the time clock just keeps going and going and going. Oh, another heavy back set. Big run, another three yards. The Gorillas really need to stop that inside run. They need to get the heavy set out on the defensive line and just get a bit closer to stop that inside run. It's great blocking from the offensive line, though. Number 53 turned the defensive tackle away from the run beautifully. And just a small shout out to uh, Steve Artega from the Raiders. One catch in two years of football. What a wide receiver. Love you, Steve. All the way. And then the snap. Healy straight off to Michael, who's breaking tackles left, right, and center has punched it in for the touchdown. And it's given another six points to the Knights. This has opened up the lead on the Gorillas big time. That they are back. Sorry, I'm back too, guys. 20 to 12, the Knights leading it. Oh, they... Touchdown, Knights. Oh. oh, dear. They've gone up the two scores. 
So 20 to 12. If the Knights do the two-point conversion here, I find it hard for the Gorillas to come back from this. Absolutely. Ten-point game is very hard in the last half of the fourth quarter of football. Especially when momentum's all against you as well. Excuse the language from the players on the sideline. The mics are so good with Duff TV, we can hear everything. <laughs> Deciding whether they want to go for one or two. Get out there, let's go. Yeah, it looks like they're lining up to go for one here. They're going for the one. Yep. Still makes it a two score game. It does. The gorillas with it all to do. These boys are looking knackered. On a 23 degree day, they're putting their all in. Absolutely. Mate. Both sidelines are looking like uh, weathered. God knows what. There's Big Pete. Been the ref uh, for as long as I can remember. Oh, oh, yeah. He's let me off a couple of yellow flags too, thank God. <laughs> Big Josh said number 89 here, doing well off the offensive, uh, off the outside linebacker on the yeah, D. Yeah, made a big play on that last series from the Gorillas. Got into the backfield. Stopping the double reverse. Exactly. I can't remember the last time I seen a double reverse in Gorilla Tasmania. You're right. <laughs> or if I've ever seen one. Oh, like well, <laughs> that'd be right too. Next we'll see a Philly special. So they're... Uh, Get ready, D. They're going for the one They're point going conversion. for the conversion here. The German kicker needs to earn his dollars here. Make it a two-point game. Let's see what he can do. Straight over. 21 to 12 in the Knights' favour. A big conversion there. Oh, that makes it a big. Nice. Focus. That makes it a nine-point game now, football fans. So uh, two scores, and I'm guessing we've only got about three or four minutes to go. Shout out to a brother and Bernie. Brody Styles, he's looking at you. Hope you're having a good one, brother. Cheers to you. And Chris Jackson, no, I'm not helping much, but player safety is uh, all that matters around here. Oh, you're doing your best, mate. So uh, we go out there and help whenever we can. Good photo you got of me, though. Yeah, absolutely agree there. Knight's O-line came to play on that oh. drive. What a job. Made a statement, made a two-point, uh, two-score game. Now, Gorillas with a massive uphill battle, but I'm still not counting them out. No, not at all. The wind's swirling here, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a long one. They're both on the uh, on the end zone line, but whether it'll pull up short or be a touchback, not sure. The weather's uh, very indifferent, or the wind anyway. Good old Tazzy. Four seasons in one day, brother. That's a oh, big kick. Booming kick. Oh, no, he's bringing oh. it out of the end zone. Little's coming. Comes, Little's goes. coming. Little's oh, coming. He's got a seam here oh. to the outside. Little's going. Big go. tackle by Mark oh. Griffiths, the old man making oh. the tackle. What a Mark job. Mark Griffiths with oh, the hit. Dear. Oh, oh. Number 81's done himself a mischief <laughs> celebrating the play. He's, he's gone ass over to oh, <laughs> Done himself a real oh. mischief. Oh, dear. Great celebration, oh. number 81. What a celebration. <laughs> Dan Fafanger. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Dan, great work, brother. <laughs> oh, I thought he had a seam there. What a tackle oh in the God. open field. If the uh, camera can just pan down the hair on Dan Fafinger is, oh, my God, number 81 to the right of our van. That hair is just phenomenal. You'd expect him to be an athlete. All right, next right, play. Right. First, the first of it all to do, they're going to the air here. They have to. There it is. Oh, the quick to the flat. Quick 37 by Tuttle coming there up big go. again. Great Just short of play. a first down. Just short. Great eight yard play there. Yeah, yeah number 81. I, I can't get over the physique of this man. And that hair is to die for. Oh, Lines are receding like the tide's yeah. going out. Look, quick oh. pass to the flat. Quick nine yard TD. Uh, nine yard drive. Sorry to the Raiders. Oh, boys. we got another one. He's off. He's, he's gone. off. He nearly fumbled. Oh, he's, he's still going. going. All the way. All the way. Oh, oh great, great tackle. tackle. 51. 51. Howie Clark to get back 
there and make the oh, tackle. Howie what a Clark. job. That was a TD if Howie Clark wasn't there. Oh, it is all happening. The gorillas are coming back, ladies and gentlemen. Bo Tuttle. Oh. Can you say enough about the bloke? Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Oh. Oh, that's a great tackle. That was a phenomenal tackle. tackle. Wrapped him up. You go nowhere, mate. <laughs> The only thing he could have done was keep him in bounds to keep the clock running. Yeah. But in the scheme of things, we've got a timeout by the looks. Oh, look, boys, Raiders boys, that's enough talk about Swamp Donkeys, and that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> oh, you got to love change room talk. Oh, dear. Snapchat's an evil thing, I tell you. Oh, don't do <laughs> Snapagrams or Insta Snaps, bro, so... I'm purely a Facebook man. Yeah, fair enough. And an original black Xbox. <laughs> Technology and me don't mix. That's why I'm uh, I'm lost in this van. I'm old school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lucky we didn't have iPhones back around when I was 15. Oh we my get God. a penalty on the play here, or is it two minutes? Or... No. Young kids these days video on everything. Uh, I, I reckon I'd be doing 20 years in Risden if, uh, oh dear. if oh. cameras were around back oh. in the day. Oh dear. All the mischief that we got up to. Any three metre flatties? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> couple of three metre flatties. Uh, no flatties, but a, a fish tattooed on an appendage. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> For all the women who don't eat meat on Good Fridays, mind you. <laughs> we'll let uh, the viewers... Uh, Let's get back to the action here. Their mind on that one. <laughs> Gorillas driving in a big way. Need a score Need and a two-point right conversion here. here. Right here. Make a stand. Marcus Dornoff. Back in shotgun with split blacks. Put it on the chest. Put it on the titty, Dornoff. Oh, he's... Oh, he's... Oh, with the little shovel pass oh. to Matt Cameron. He's Matt going. Cameron going. Oh, oh, great open field tackle there. Oh, that should have been a flag on number 91 late hit, but... Oh, yeah, there is. There's yeah, the flag, work. yep. Got the flag on the play. He, he jumped on him after he was oh, down. Bit of over-enthusiasm there. Exactly, so that'll drive him forward another 10 yards, or 5 yards? Uh, if it's a personal foul, it's 15. Oh. Yeah, depends what they call it here. Exactly, so we've got him running off. The initial guy makes the tackle. It's a good open field Here you go, tackle. hits the ground, and then 91, bang, yeah, trying to hit him yeah. after the play. Yes, we're a sport of, uh, oh, of physics, but you don't do after the play hits. So that takes them to the nine-yard line. Yes. We've got a first and nine. Is it first? Yeah, that'll be first. Good work. Yep, absolutely. So all my devils out there uh, watching, who are we? One, two, three. Devils, four, five, six, family. Oh, he comes. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's completed. Completion. Touchdown, oh. Gorillas. Has Littles hurt oh. after that? Oh, what a brave he catch got there. Open. He got up. sandwiched. Oh, oh. oh was this that is Jackie not good. Parfit? Oh no, that was the secondary there. Oh damn! Caught the ball and took a massive hit. Here we go. What a catch, mind you, though. Oh, to hold on to that. Look at this. Whack. Oh. Number 21. 21. That would be Tommy Shepard. Tommy Shepard loves the open, uh, open, open field, field hits. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. He dropped his shoulder. Big. He's all right, Taz. Neener, neener, neener. Taz is one of the toughest players I've ever come across. The only man I've ever known to play a couple of weeks after lacerating his kidney. So we've now got a three-point game on our hands, uh, football fans. With the conversion to come, the Gorillas are going to try and run in the two to make it a one-point game. And then... It's... This makes it interesting. Oh, oh, oh. We what get a, a game. We get some points here. We're looking at an onside kick, and it makes it very, very interesting. Me, for one, very I love both teams, but I really want these guys to get it over, make it the closest game we can possibly have to the very end. For the conversion. Dornhoff runs out of the pocket with the pass. Caught by conversion Bo caught. We have a game on Two our points. hands. 21 nights, the Gorillas 20. 
Oh, oh, my God. Could you ask for a better game on a better day? This is a great representation for Gridiron Tasmania in oh, this game. This is, oh. this is a representation of American football in absolutely, Australia. Absolutely. Absolutely. Some of the talent on offer here, some of the catchers are, are National League worthy, I think. But uh, we'll soon see because we've got a, a team playing in the All-Stars uh, in the off-season, I think. Yeah, we've got 16 Tassie players going over. So uh, that should be interesting and let us show the world what we're all about Absolutely. down here in the little old state we'll take of take it to the mainland. So we've had shout-outs from where? Saudi Arabia. We've had shout-outs from the US. We've had shout-outs from Bernie Devonport. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, Bernie. I mean, nah, shout-out to all our Bernie people. <laughs> Bernie, Launceston, Devonport. Hey, I'm Hobash and it's all the same. I love Cascade, you love Bogue, so we hate oh, each look, other. Look. I only drink both red, mate. <laughs> and for all you uh, mainlanders, we're divided in the southern half of the state. Uh, right about Campbelltown, uh, the top half drink Bogues, which is uh, not the best beer. And the southern oh, half drink George Cascade. Right. St. George goes right. It's a nice, easy drink, mate. Uh, OK. <laughs> we'll agree to disagree on That's that one. Fine. That's fine. So we've got the kickoff for the Gorillas, guys. Um, I'm guessing we've only got about two minutes left. I'll just check with the ref. Hey, hey. 3.27 to go, viewers. Gorillas need a score. This kickoff is absolutely vital. Three minutes, 27 to go. They've got two timeouts each, I think. And the Gorillas need to get the ball back here. Sorry, my mic was away from my face. I've got a fat head. <laughs> okay, here comes the kickoff. What are they going to do? Outside, the outside kick. kick. Get there. Oh, Gorillas oh, recover number gorillas three. Recover. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh. oh, what a play from the Gorillas special team. Tiger Bowl six has it. it. Oh. oh, my goodness. Number three with the recovery. Oh. That was phenomenal, Chad Honey. Caleb, what a kick. Chad Honey with the recovery. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Then makes a few yards. And yards after measure. catch. Oh, oh, that kick. Oh, my God. Send in the college ball. <laughs> oh. Oh, here we go. The now. Gorillas, Gorillas with the driving. Drive. Less than three minutes to go. So we're looking at about three minutes and ten seconds. Uh, with the wind-off from uh, the last kick. We've also got a two-minute warning, so the Knights need to get a first down here, and then uh, they can pretty yeah, much take it yep. to the clock without a turnover. Split backs. This is going to number 37. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing so. 37 or 13. Yep. Oh, that run up the run. guts. Oh, oh, great run. Oh, great oh, yardage, mate. Run. Oh, the big games bring out the big players. That's Josh Smith great, would be a huge run. Great five-yard run there by Josh Smith. Quick, uh, oh, quick on the offense. Straight to the line. Oh, here we go. We're in shotgun. shotgun and split split back. Here comes the pass from Marcus. Oh, oh he's great got great protection. From the great protection. Oh, great protection. Right there, Tazzy. Oh, oh, he's just overthrown him. Missed him by a couple of yards. Oh. He was away. The protection of that O-line then was absolutely amazing. It was beautiful. Look, Look at, at that time. block. That Big block shout was, out, MC. Oh. Great block. Number 99, Jesus Christ. Matty Cameron. Oh, winding back the clock like yesteryear. Unbelievable. So we've now got a third down and about four yards, guys. Gorillas ball. They need to get this first down, take it at the two-minute warning. We'll see how we go. Split formation oh, again. The tension. Oh. oh. Oh, high snap. Oh, it doesn't matter. Marcus put it there. Oh, 37. He's, he's away. He's, he's going. going. He's going. Oh, oh he's just short. Oh, just oh my short. God, football fan. Oh, what he's, a game. Oh, if you are not here watching this game, I am sorry. You are missing out on one of the spectacles of sports in Tasmania at the moment. We've got a quick hurry up offense. Cameraman, jump on it, please, if we can. Awesome. 
We don't want to miss a single beat. He's going straight going back to the pass. pass again. He's going to the other side. He's going he does. No. No. We he's... had a slip over by Tesla. Oh. oh, I think he's run the wrong route there too. Marcus oh, is throwing so... the corner ball. <laughs> and a bit of a slip over going, where are we? Oh, we've got a flag down on the other side. Flag on the play. Oh, here's the replay of that big first down. Oh, what a move. Yards after the oh. catch is really making a difference in this game. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, that was such a phenomenal run. All right. So, refs are conferring. First down. First down and about eight yards. Yeah. So first and short. Can, can the done. Gorillas win the game from here? Oh, hand off the fullback. Oh, good tack. Good defense there by the Knights. Stopping defense. at the line. Made a couple of yards though after yeah. the initial hit. So yeah. did well. Absolutely. That's just tough. Here's running. the replay. Look at this. Just driving the legs, Matt Cameron. Drive 30, after the hit. 34, great job One, getting around the corner. Two yards. Yeah, about two and a half yards yeah. after the hit. Beautiful. Here we go, shotgun again. The gorillas are on a roll. Go on the pass, go on the air. Oh, there it is. Touchdown, oh! gorillas! Oh, gorillas! Oh, six goodness. points! Six points to the gorillas. They've oh, got the front. Oh, my God! Football fans. Unbelievable Are you football. not on the edge of your seat? Oh, my God, I'm about to pee my pants, and this seat is so wet. Oh, my God. What Look a at that. catch. Fingertips. Look at the camera work on that, though. And, oh. and if I'm correct, we've still got the two-minute warning to we go. We do. So this makes it a phenomenal game. They're going for by the They'll be going two for points. two here to make it a touchdown game, converted touchdown. Huge 26 21 to make it 28 21 and a one touchdown game with a conversion. I'd be running to the right side oh. of the Gorillas. I wouldn't be going that left. Knights have stacked that left side. Oh. They're going to make a stop here by the looks. Here we go. Quick, Quick pass. pass. Oh, oh, out of the hands. No good. Five point game. Five points here at Rugby Park in Lutana Hobart. Super Bowl six, Tiger Bowl, Gorillas v Knights, fourth quarter with just under two minutes to go. If you're not excited, I don't know what you can do to get <laughs> happy because this is phenomenal. Now, while we're in the grips of this, I just want to say a quick thank you to our sponsors. Um, Duff TV for, for putting this whole thing on and l allowing you guys to watch. We've got Taz Kino, Queen's Head, Bulk Nutrients, Sporties, Knight Frank Property, JMC Motor Company, Mood Food, Bennett's. We've got Queen's Head. We've got, uh, what else have we got? The Maypole. Thank you to everyone who has put money into this sport. Um, as you can see, it's alive and well and thriving. So any potential future sponsors please jump on board this great sport and help us to play the best sport we know how this is literally the biggest kickoff of the season oh, right now right, it comes down to now <laughs> it's unbelievable. one minute 16 i got signaled left now one minute 16 the knights have ran back one out of three kickoffs so if they run this back we're in some trouble let's go here we go. Oh, nice kick. Nice 40 yard punt. Straight, to Straight on it. He's Here on his bike. Up the middle. He's right up the middle. Up the middle. He's been tackled. Oh. oh, he stopped a halfway. Oh, what, what a, a run. return. Putting the Knights in great field position. 35 yard run and just driving the legs. You've got to thank his front men on the, on the special team. Absolutely. So he would the not have that. The front line blocking was brilliant on that play. He would not have those holes if it wasn't for his teammates. So, uh, Damn, that was a good run. Watch this. He'll get two, three blocks on the way through to making that 40-yard run. One, breaks one tackle. Two, three. 
Let's take the fourth and fifth one down. <laughs> Damn, brother. Ugh. Love that run. Love that run. Number 11 on special teams has been an absolute superstar. Oh, absolute gun. I call him Chicken Little because those legs <laughs> look like they could use some uh, of the Colonel's KSC seasoning. Oh, I think he needs to get on the bulk nutrients, mate. <laughs> Either that or some big McDonald's. <laughs> Go for the Mega Mac, buddy. It's all good. <laughs> oh, looks like we've had a penalty on the kick return. Oh, so, so we're kicking again. We're kicking again. Oh, I'm not sure what's happened there, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. We'll find out eventually, but... But looks like the Grillers are retaking the kick. Yes. So I'm guessing the penalty was on the Knights. Yes. And the Gorillas want to kick again because Rookie. he ran it back for 45 yards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was holding on uh, or blocking the back, I think, on the Knights. So we've got the kickoff again, enforcing the penalty of 10 yards. So... It'll be from the 35-yard line instead of the 25-yard yep. line. Yep. And we'll go again. Oh, my God. How exciting is this? Caleb wants to kick this out of bounds. One minute Needs on the Needs to go out of bounds course. here, Caleb. Just get it out. Don't let him run it back, <laughs> Don't buddy. Don't let him run it back. Don't, Don't give, give him, him that the opportunity. Chance. They have got a great return game going on today. Big Pete there uh, explaining to the sideline yeah. his call. Here we go. What's he going to do? Put it out? Put it in the end zone? Or, oh, oh, no. Oh, he's giving he's him a run it. at it. Oh, here Not comes number again. 11 again. In full oh. fight. He's cutting to the outside. Oh, oh great palm tackle off. by the Gorillas. The palm off, but to be able to grab hold of that jersey and keep hold of him, that was phenomenal tackle. And he's limping off too, old boy. Oh. Number 11, Jam. Eli, De Elijah Devine. Devine, what a game from the liar. Now, the Knights are in a position where they oh, have to pass. This is this is unfamiliar territory. We're down to about 40 seconds. We're not sure in the uh, in the commentators box here, guys. 40 seconds, first and 10 on the Knights' own 30. Look for 25 over the middle. There you go, into the flat. Oh, oh Gorillas sack. breaking the First line. sack of the game. Cop Jeff Clark, down. number 52 with a huge play. Doing it when it counts. Oh, quick offense. We've got to hurry up offense. Back to the line. Here we go. Oh, they're running stacked. They're running stacked. Pass game. Oh, here we go. Get eyes on. Oh, oh, what a de Alex Cross, number 41. He did so well to disrupt, but I feel number 16 still should have got the catch. Absolutely. Because he didn't put hands on that ball. He just, uh, he got hands in the face. There it is again. Exactly. Oh, should have caught Should have that. attacked the ball there in my exactly. opinion. Exactly. Body on body, up in the air, you win every time. You get scared and pull away. That's what happens. You don't get a touchdown or even a reception. All right, we're down under a minute to go. Football fans, protection. I was about to say fight fans because I commentate fights as well, so I apologise. We're ready, football fans. Oh, we're at... we got the heavy back set in Third here. down. We're looking at max protection. From Third and 12 here. from the Knights. Here we go. This is the game. Comes down to here. They don't get this. Oh! <laughs> No, 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 he no, was no. out of bounds. He was. he was out of bounds. No reception, but, but we have now got a fourth down and 12 for the Knights. They have to go for it. Otherwise, that's game. the Gorillas are going to kneel it out and win the game. Comes right down to this play, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, oh. children oh. of all ages. Tiger Bowl 6, Tasmania, 22nd of February, 2020 at Rugby Park in Lutana. It comes right down to this one play. I'll either get your Tiger Bowl Championship ring or you'll be leaving home empty. Right here. Here comes a play, here comes a pass. Pass off, oh! Incomplete, Gorilla's Ball! Tiger Bowl. That's the Tiger Bowl! Gorilla's Gorillas have got this! Can you believe the comeback from the Gorillas today? It's all about 
the timing of the plays. These guys put it on the line. They knew when it counted. And we've still got formalities to go. So the Gorillas are going to come out. For all you guys that don't know, they've got four, four tries to get the ball 10 metres. They're going to kneel it out because there's a minute left. And the Sporties Gorillas, 2020 Tiger Bowl 6 champions. Congratulations to all their supporters, what fans. What a game. Players, partners. This is absolutely phenomenal. I, uh, I really want to go out and be on camera just to do a, a post-fight, uh, <laughs> post-game uh, interview with a couple of the boys, but we don't have the technology for that. <laughs> it's only attached to the computer. Yeah, these aren't wireless headphones, Mark. <laughs> so, uh, Duff TV are going to see what they can do for me, and uh, we'll see if we can get a mic and get out there and have a chat to the winning coaches and that sort of thing. So we have victory formation here, ladies and gentlemen. And he takes, takes the, the knee. knee. So they're looking to run the time off the clock. So this will keep the clock running. Uh, each, and it'll bring an end to the game and a victory to the seconds. Gorillas. All right, so I'm going to leave you here, Baron. I'm going no to go worries. out to the field. Well done, mate. Thank you for uh, such a great day. I'm going to go out there, get a microphone and get some interviews off... Uh, some of the players, coaches, and maybe even the referees. Excellent. Who do such a great job. Absolutely, they do. Thank you so much, Baron. Have a great day, football fans, and couldn't have put it on better myself. Tasmania, 23 degrees, Tiger Bowl 6 champions. The Sporty Gorillas. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. I'll talk to you soon, Baron. Thanks, mate. And that's game, ladies and gentlemen. The Gorillas are your Tiger Bowl champions! They have come from nowhere to win this Tiger Bowl. What a victory! Good on you, Sporties Gorillas. Congratulations! Well done, boys! Well done to the coaches, the backroom staff, everybody involved with the Gorillas. Commiserations to the Knights. Well played. They fought their hearts out today. What a Tiger Bowl! One of the greatest games we've ever seen here. It was absolutely brilliant. What a game. That went down completely to the wire. What a game. I am speechless. I'm spent. I'm sweating. What a game. Unbelievable. Now we got Matty coming out here to do some interviews. Get in around the coaches, but first the players, as traditionally in Gridiron Tasmania, will line up at halfway, shake everyone's hands in a great show of sportsmanship. What a game! Could not believe that. Thank you to everyone for joining in. Stay tuned for some more action here on Duff TV. Congratulations once again to the Sporties Gorillas. Commiseration to the Queen's Head Knights. Oh dear. What a game. Oh, and I reckon if we're speaking Tiger Bowl MPPs, you've got to not look past number 37, Bo Tuttle from the Gorillas. Brilliant catches all day long, scoring two touchdowns, vital two point conversions as well, creating havoc in that night's secondary. What a job. Absolute superstar in the day. Big shout out to all those gorillas, mate. That's going to be a fun bus trip home <laughs> to be on that. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> the gorillas boys do like the uh, vodka cruisers. I reckon there'll be a fair few of those floating around in celebration. Good to see Joshy Cooper up and about from his shoulder injury. Oh, hopefully he's okay. He'll be fine too. He just won a Tiger Bowl. Don't worry about it. Once again, commiseration to the Knights. They played their absolute hearts out. Showed up in that second half and made one hell of a game out of it. Congratulations to the officials officiating the Tiger Bowl. Brilliantly called. Well done, guys.